Hello and welcome everyone to another fantastic Wednesday here on the Exploding Dice channel. My name is Askrin and I am your host, but I am not your dungeon master, as you can see from me being way down here at the bottom. Uh, that that uh, duty belongs to the fellow above me. Uh, we have been talking about this game for a little while, but uh, but welcome. Uh, so. Before, well, actually, why don't I, uh, why don't I hand things over to our dungeon master, Mr. Daryl, uh, to tell us a little bit about what we are doing today. All right, thanks so much, Askren. I'm super excited to have this opportunity, um, just to, to play the game again. With a a bunch new of subscriber that arrives. Friends of mine it that I've got to know through through Gen Con and other events like that. And uh, tonight we're going to play a game called, or a D&D &D game in a setting that I call the Daubers. Daubers are cute, gnome-like creatures that live in the always green forest. They spend their time farming and working with wood and just generally living in what they believe to be a fairly safe and utopian-like environment. Um, but all that's about to change. And that's why we need some heroes like the ones that are gathered around me. Uh, so, down below we've got Askren, you already know. So I'll pass it on to Ivy, then Dolby, then Tenant to introduce yourself. Yeah, why don't, we, uh, why don't we take a second to say hello to our cast. Uh, yeah. We'll go around for you guys. Uh, a lot of new faces here, so, so why don't we go down the line and have everyone introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you come from, and also who you are going to be playing for. And let's start right on this side of me, because I'm looking at OBS, with uh, Mrs. Board Game Girl. How is it going? It's going well. Yeah, I'm Board Game Girl, um, also known as Jess, and for the Daubers, I'll be playing Ivy. Sweet. Uh, do you want anything you want to tell us about your character? About uh, you know what they're what they're like? Um, so Ivy is a <laughs> Sylvan dauber. So she's a half blood. Um, she takes a little flack for that, um, not being a, a pure dauber um, when she's around. She was from Dauberton. Um, she is a rogue, and she, she grew up um, in the family tree of a family of Sylvan followers. Um, unfortunately, all of her family were attacked by a hawk, so she's now alone and trying to make her way um, and trying to figure out what's going on um, with uh, some of the changes that are happening in Always Green. Sweet. Uh, and next, of course, is Mr. Judo Killa. How is it going, my friend? Good, man. How you doing? I'm all right. How about you? Good, good. <laughs> um, excited to be here today. Uh, t I am Judo Killer here on Twitch. Uh, I have been uh, in the community here at Exploding Dice for about a year now, and I uh, finally got the opportunity to play with you guys online, and I'm super excited to do it today. I am going to be playing Dolby Darkwood today, and Dolby is a member of the Doberton Guard-ish uh, he's found himself in some trouble uh, with his senior officer, Aldous, and has been uh, essentially brooming and mopping and cleaning uh, the mills around the East Watch for the past year rather than his uh, standard guard duties for something. He's not quite sure uh, what got him in trouble and caught the ire of his commander yet, but excited to see how that plays out today. Awesome, awesome. And last but not least, Mr. Throck on the end. How is it going, my friend? Good, man. I'm glad to be here. Hi, I'm Throck. Throck plays. Throck plays poorly, whatever. Uh, I am playing Ted, <laughs> our, uh, uh, our, our, I guess, pure blood dauber? I'm not sure what the, uh, uh, the terminology is for that. Uh, Bard from Dauberton, who has gone on tour because things have gotten a little too hot for him in Dauberton recently. He's had a little too much fun with a few bartender's daughters, and so he's found himself without too many places to play. So, he's on the road. Taking the show on the road. Sweet. 
Looking right. forward to it. Uh, and of course, my name is Askrin. Uh, I'm the host here at Exploding Dice, and today I, I will be playing Fern, the the rat druid. He's he's an old druid. He has a bit of a bit of years under his belt. He also lives out in the woods. Uh, he's kind of a hermit. Uh, he has mushrooms growing on his back. Uh, he farms mushrooms and moss and things like that for healing purposes, but he has to keep it secret because the guard doesn't necessarily like him being out there. Uh, and also, by the way, I wanted to start by saying a huge thank you to Four with the resub for the two months. He says, let the adventure begin. Thank you. Thank you so much, Four. If you guys have not already, raise those glasses with ED cheer or explode three cheer in chat. For our good, good friend. Uh, raise a drink to Mr. Four. Um, also, guys, before I hand it over to Daryl to get a, to kick us off and get us onto an adventure, a couple of quick announcements, thing, bits of business, things we have to get to. Uh, first and foremost, if you have not already, please do us a huge solid and hit that retweet link. Dice Thulu has it for you in chat right there. You can tell all your friends that you're hanging out for us. Um, awesome, awesome to see such an amazing turnout for the first episode of this show. Hopefully, uh, you guys love it. Secondly, um, uh, I wanted to give a big shout uh, for everyone who came out last night. We had a great time on our double back-to-back -back Fuzzy Dice episode. Hope you guys had some... Uh, had some fun there. Uh, we announced that if you have not already checked it out, we have a giveaway going on this month. Uh, Paizo has sent me a whole pile of stuff, so if you click that link, you can get yourself entered for the November giveaway to win uh, a, a, core, a Pathfinder core rulebook, an adventurer's guide, and a box of minis. It's all there. Uh, if you're already following the channel and on Twitter, why not do it? You already you got those entries. Go claim them. Um, and the last but not least, as always, uh, we are. I, I don't have the bar up on screen. I'll get that done. Um, if you guys are enjoying the show, please hit that follow button. And if you are really, really enjoying the show, please hit that subscribe button. All that goes back to supporting the channel and help producing great content here. Uh, and of course, you can, um, uh, I guess at Daryl's leisure, but the way we usually do things is uh, when you are subscribed or if you hit that donate button, you can give our players nat 20s, inspirations, things like that, that kind of yeah, assist assist them on their way, either turn the tie. You can also give them to the DM if you think he's, uh, you know, the, the players have it a little bit too easy. Um, all of that information is down, uh, down right below the stream, so if you want to support the show and, of course, uh, help our players out and give them some, some tools to, uh, to survive in this, this whimsical fantasy world, uh, that is the best way to do it. Uh, that is pretty much it. That's all you got out of me. So I'm going to hand it back over to Daryl. Set the scene. Tell us what's going on, my friend. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Hi. Let's get going. So we are in Oakden. Oakden is a small village that's on the west I'm side of Doberton. Oakden is famous for their acorn inn for farming uh, various nuts and berries that the forest provides and uh, for being one of the few cities on the west side of the country that can uh, manage to survive amidst being in the rougher side of the, the kingdom. Uh, there are raids from the Rat Claw clan that come across. They mostly are stopped by the West Watch and by Moss Fort, but sometimes a few get through and Oakden has to deal with it, but they seem to fare okay. Um, when uh, we'll we'll start with okay yeah and it's a, excuse me um, it is the day after the harvest festival it's bright and early in the morning um, the harvest festival in Oakden and many Doberton cities villages is much like you'd expect it um, there are pumpkin growing contests there's uh, uh, squash hurling there's uh, people making uh, soups and things and, and eating and drinking and partying and all sorts of festivities when uh, the dust settles the night before um, everything seemed to be pretty much as it should be fern and ivy are going to be coming into town this following morning uh, the first thing they notice when they come into town other than uh, some of the description of the town I'll get to, is a smell. Uh, 
a rather large pumpkin that uh, was soon was part of the uh, festivities last night is broken open next to the fountain that's downtown or in the center of town. Um, and there's a foul smell coming from it. Not normal pumpkin smell. As you walk into town, basically there's a, a main road that goes to the north. You guys are coming from the south and you're coming in kind of on a, a trail. It's a fairly small, uh, large enough for a, you know, a wheelbarrow or something like that, but it's not, it's not a finished road. You come into town, um, there's a few shops you pass. There's a, a, a winery, um, there's the, the manner of someone who's relatively uh, well-to-do in town. It's, he's, he's one of the few that have a home that's right downtown. And uh, But then you get to the town square, there's a small, uh, humble fountain, and then directly across from that is the large Acorn Inn. The opening of the, the, the front part of the Acorn Inn has a nice large deck with columns that go up to a roof above it for the second floor and then just past the first ledge of the roof is a balcony where uh, people on the second floor can come out and look around and things like that. Uh, it's also good to note that the uh, most of the buildings in Doberton, uh, Oakton included, are built right into trees. Trees make up some of that foundational structure for the buildings that are they're built into. Um, and uh, so Everything that you can see on maps and stuff like that, you'll be able to see uh, the buildings themselves, but it's it's just assumed there's leaf and tree cover almost over everything. So um, it's kind of a neat structure. There's lots of limbs and things like that. So uh, almost all the buildings do have some sort of interconnectedness, if, if not literally, but mostly by the trees that they are built into, you know, overlapping things like that. Um, when you walk up to the acorn and under the, the smell of the strange the strange kind of rotten pumpkin smell there is a uh large to you but not large to regular things fox tied to the uh, eastmost pillar of the deck of the acorn Inn. and uh so I will leave it now to Fern and Ivy to decide what they're doing. They're, I think they were planning to go into the acorn. So so we're just arriving in town and there's this kind of big smashed pumpkin in the center? Yeah, there's a smashed pumpkin by the, the fountain and then there's a fox uh, tied to mm -hmm. one of the columns out front. Is, he, is the fox alive? <laughs> Does oh it look yeah, like... the fox is alive. The fox has a harness and a saddle. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's like, not he's not like tied up, like crucified. He's just like, like I a horse. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow, this got dark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I knew what it was. You're supposed to know what I'm saying. We were set up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if we're if we're just arriving in town, I think the uh, I think Ivy was um, had probably we we had kind of talked about Ivy had come to for for healing for an injury recently. Um, okay. yeah, so we're probably arriving in town. If we're passing, if there's, like, that scent of, of rotted, nasty pumpkin, uh, Fern, that would, because Fern being a mouse or a rat, he has a very keen nose, so that would probably, like, like yeah, oh, what, what is that? What, what is it? It smells foul. Is something decaying here? Okay. So what do you do about it? Uh, probably follow the scent, and if he finds, like, this smashed over pumpkin, he'd probably, like, go over and, like, poke at it with his staff a little bit, just kind of see, like, what's going on with this thing. When you get over to the pumpkin near the fountain, you see that it is uh, a really big pumpkin, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Not that it's significant to the smell, but you can just imagine, you know, the night before some family trying to roll this thing down the road to get it here to, to compete in the pumpkin contest. Uh, the insides of the pumpkin itself do not appear to be rotten. It mm -hmm. appears to be naturally, like the the inside structure doesn't, it's not mushy in the way that you would consider something that's just aged to become. So the um, pumpkin looks the normal, it just smells bad. Yeah, it just smells bad. Could I potentially be, uh, could, I, could I use my nature skill to see if, this, if it smells like 
anything particular? Is does it? Because I assume again, being one who har who harvests moss and molds and stuff, uh, I know the difference between something rotted and something that's like just not like we yeah out of out of the norm. Yeah, um, give me a, a nature roll. Sure. Or not a, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me pop this out so I can use it. Um, nature. There we go. Is that 21? Oh, that'll do it. All right. Um, yeah, upon closer examination of the pumpkin and the insides, you can see that the seeds are a little bit discolored and mm -hmm. there's a, uh, uh, the, the, even the inside fruit part, you know, the orange is typically that pumpkin orange is a little bit discolored and gray. Um, your, based on your information, you know, your experience rather, it, it feels to you like it's, um, been the, the nutrients that it's received to grow with were contaminated in some way. Okay. So it's not rot. It, it like absorbed some, some toxic stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, yeah, he'll, once he kind of, he'll kind of, like, take a, a, like, just scoop up a little bit of this stuff, like, the, the inside gunk, and probably just, like, like, put it on his shoulder, uh, and then, um, then turn back to, uh, to Ivy say, interesting, well, let's go inside. Alright, time to go inside, then. Alright, very good, so, um, while you guys are... Walking across the threshold, let's jump over to Ten and Dolby. Uh, you guys come down the stairs in the Acorn Inn. Um, if we want, we can put everybody on that page in roll 20. Do I just, I just drag over the little thing? Oh. Yeah, so Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> that was very, very loud. That was impressive music. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I, I felt immersed. Hold on, let me, uh, let me... There. Where is that coming from? Sounds like it's coming through someone's speakers. All right. I have it in my headphones. That's it. It was probably Jess. Yeah, I have it. It's fine, I'll... I'll... <laughs> we can just stop it on, on. <laughs> stage set. You you can keep it, you can keep it rolling. I'll uh, I'll use uh, Sirenscape for this <clears throat> tavern. Oh. Keep going. Go ahead. Very good. Okay, so you guys come down the stairs. There's a long hall um, that is directly in front of the stairs. To your right is the general store, but then at the end of the hallway, if you make a left, you come into the main part of the Acorn Inn, which is where the bar the restaurant, the meeting rooms are, and the lobby is. You make your way down the hallway and come into that first turn uh, where the bar is. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and move. No, I'm kidding, you guys can do that. Anyway, um, and behind the bar, you see Beatrice. So I need to move her to the right player. Uh, Beatrice is our uh, the hostess, the the woman associated with the Acorn Inn. Uh, they people don't think she's the owner, but um, she's a large daughter with big poofy hair. She's wearing a flower blue flowery dress. She has an apron on, of course, because she's always getting her hands dirty with something. And uh, she's at the bar. She's hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what can I get you here? Uh, Blurry-eyed, I hop up onto a bar stool and go, Good morning, gorgeous. I just need drink and food. Doesn't even matter what it is. Just drink and food, please. Okay, well, we've got a number of options for you this morning. We've got a nice hazelnut stew. Uh, of course, we've got pumpkin stew from last night that's left over. And um, and if you just like some greens or something, I can get you a salad. Pumpkin stew, stew sounds amazing. Let's do that. Oh, right. Very good. I can do the pumpkin stew and uh, drink uh, just, a, just a house ale, I assume. Yes. Okay. Relatively adult. Relatively, okay. Well, you do appear to be quite the adult. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, for you, my friend, with the uh, armor and the rather broad shoulders. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take the stew and the ale myself. Very good. I'll be right back. And um, it's, oh, oh, by the way, as she's getting ready to round the corner and go towards the kitchens, um, there's a meeting that's going to be going on over in the, the other room across the uh, main dining area. They've asked me to instruct people to kind of uh, not to be snoopy. I don't know how to, you know. Uh, don't spy on the important people talking. I, yes, I, that's okay. pretty much what they said, but I was trying to stay a little nicer because I want you all to feel welcome in town. You were doing an excellent job of making us feel welcome in town. Thank you. All right, good. So then she scurries off, she goes around the bar, and uh, for some reason I cannot grab the, the little token on the little 20. Why can't I do that? I'm on the wrong layer. Okay, here we go. So she scurries off and is in the um, in the kitchen area. Uh, then the uh, fern and ivy come in. And uh, I'll put you guys down here by the door. So I'm going to change your name to Ivy now that you have to. So you guys come in. Uh, the first thing you see is a nice uh, fire in the fireplace where there's kind of a lobby area, uh, a divider. Uh, both sides of this divider you can see around and then it goes into the main restaurant area. Uh, it's assumed that well, you, you, you've been in here before, so you know that there are fires on both sides of that. Um, there is a dauber sitting in one of the chairs, warming, warming himself by the fire, though it's not particularly cold. He must be cold natured. And um, he's got a, a large gray beard, um, a larger than dauber size nose, um, and kind of a dry or a grayish purple robes on. Um, and he's just hanging out uh, there by the fire. He doesn't particularly <laughs> notice you when you come in. To you. Whoop, sorry. Uh, I've been playing with music this whole time. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. I'm trying to sort. Uh, so we're we're walking into the. Uh, in, into the tavern, uh, Fern Fern has probably been here for been here a bunch of times. Uh, so the first thing he'll do is, uh, I it, it's, it's probably cool if he if he has like a like a little chair like off in the the corner, like a little table area. Sure. Yeah, there's a there's a couple there's several tables you know in that restaurant area that mm -hmm. feel more um, you know away from the action um, if you like. Okay, where would there the, is uh... There one room that maybe one where you typically go that you, you can't go because it's full of people. Okay, where would the, uh, the, the, I guess the tavern owner that he's sort of somewhat friends with be? She just went into the kitchen. Okay. Uh, then he'll probably just, uh, just kind of hobble with his staff, like, into the main room and kind of, kind of look, like, uncomfortably draw his hood up over his head because people kind of probably give him some weird eyes as he walks in. He says... Uh, very crowded in here today. Yeah. How weird would it be to see a rat creature walking into a bar for my character? Yeah, so it would be pretty weird. Um, how do you want me to move your, your tokens around, uh, guys? Or you want to move your own? Uh, if I'm at the bar, I'm happy right where I'm at. Yeah, uh, Fern and Ivy. So we moved into this other room where this other person is by the fire, right? Oh, is this not where the doors were? Right. So, yeah, there's like a door. You know, you come into the door and there's like a lobby that you can go into the, the restaurant area. So if you want okay. To yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm still trying to figure out audio problems. Uh, we're, we're warming up here. Okay. <laughs> Please work. There we go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now you guys see, and how how well are you attempting to hide your uh, rat features from him? Um, probably not too, too much. He's, uh, he's probably, uh... The locals he, have seen. 
Yeah, he's probably used to like kind of just just kind of walking here and like he some he keeps to himself because the guards probably like to harass him, you know, when he's in town a little bit. Um, you know, they probably don't. You know, some of the locals probably like to give him a hard time, uh, so he just kind of keeps to himself a little bit. Just you know, waits, wait, sits down in a, in a corner and kind of waits for his uh, his friend to to arrive. Okay. He says, <sighs> says, there's a lot of people here. Says, well, you should make yourself comfortable. How's how are the bandages? How how are you how are you doing? Ivy's doing all right. She's a little uh, put off by how many people are here as well. Um, and a curious who's in that other room too, hanging out by the fire. All right. Um, we have a request from someone to turn the music down. Yeah, no, okay, so here's the thing. I didn't, I've been trying to fix it because the I don't know which channel the music is on, so I've been turning it up and down. I'm trying to, as long as I know that they're hearing it, I can keep it on and it's, I can adjust it, it's fine. So sorry about that, guys. I'll no uh, I'll get it sorted. Um, yeah. uh, when you're if you're in chat, let me know how the how the music volume is, cause I need to get uh, it's it's all wonky right now. Technical problems, yay! But not so, that problems. Is that where the meeting's happening? Where I just pinged there? Yes. Okay. All right. So if you were to look over that way, <laughs> there's a a room that is not as brightly lit as the others, which is the intention. A lot of people mm -hmm. like Fern would like to hang out there when it's not being used by others. Um, and you see everybody over there is wearing uh, some sort of dauber um, style armor. Uh, I mean, official dauber armor. Um, there's two guys that have uh, some blue stripes across their chest. It's not the blue star. Um, so you can, uh, they must have some sort of rank or authority. Um, Dolby recognizes one of them as Aldous. He is standing closest to the, the, the side of the room where everybody else is. Um, right. that, it'll be, there you go, so that's all. He's in there by the meeting. Yeah, he's in there. Okay. He, he's, he's like, he appears to be listening to everyone just sort of mm -hmm. at the moment uh, quietly talk. Um, with his arms crossed and just kind of staring everybody down. So I would know not to approach him at this point to get my orders, correct? Um, if you're playing it safe. Okay. I mean, it depends on your attitude more than... <laughs> 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 so, very good. Gotcha. Um, all right. So a few minutes pass and Beatrice bursts through the double doors of the kitchen area and uh, comes around this way. She checks on the meeting and then uh, comes past you, Fern and Ivy to speak with, or to give Ten and Dolby their food and drinks. Here you go, lovelies. So, so glad you're here this morning. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I was, I was, you know, asking about a gig last night and you said you were booked for months, but can I just say, you look like the type of person who wants to hire the best talent in the land, and I can tell you factually that's me. And if you got somebody else on the on the docket, I would be happy to take their place. You, oh well, I, um, that's oh I'm oh I'm sure you'd be quite lovely, but I just don't want. I mean, my friend is who's playing the he's playing this this instrument tonight i don't even know what it is it like stands up and it's got little little noisy uh, strings on it and uh noisy bits <laughs> um and uh i just wouldn't i wouldn't want to hurt their feelings by telling them i hired someone else you know no. oh i know how it is but maybe i can talk to your friend when they get here and we can maybe I, we uh, can play together maybe you maybe you could I don't know. I'd, I'd have to ask him if he'd be willing to accept half the pay. But we can talk about it if you like. Well, I'll tell you this. To prove how willing I am to show you that I am probably the best fiddle player who's ever walked through the doors here, I will play for free with your friend tonight. Well, I will consider it. Very good. And thank uh, you for the food. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just uh, pay up. Uh, you know, we also set up later. Um, and, and you, uh, Mr. What was your name again? Uh, I mean, he's looking at you, Dolby. Dolby. Dolby Darkwood. 
Ah, uh, yes, Dobby. Yes, uh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. A strong name for a strong dauber like yourself. Oh, thank you, man. No, I'm fine. That'll be all. Thank you. All right. Uh, just at that moment, you hear, you don't understand what it's like at the West, coming from the uh, the meeting room. I and, would... I'm sorry? Oh, I was going to ask, I would like to grab my food and maybe go sit like here-ish and see what I can hear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all righty. Um, I'll be go. I'll be listening without listening. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I will uh, try and be sneaky about it. I'm not like staring at them, but okay. Can you roll a deception so it you know to, to appear as if you're um, sure not uh, being? Uh, <laughs> you want that? You want that? I rolled one. one. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow! What up? <laughs> I'm roll that. I'm gonna He's like, do it. Yeah, am I, am I rolling on on that as well? I'm sorry. Yeah. What was that? Excuse me. No, can you guys speak up a little? You, just, gonna, you loudly okay. scoot right. your chair over, like right next to them. Yeah, you put your food down and, and and you go to pull the chair out and you realize the other chair is closer to you than that one, and you knock into it and fall over the table behind you. Uh, I mean. <laughs> there's a there's an old scraggly beard dauber, clearly a, a farmer who's uh, just getting some morning breakfast, sitting at the table across, and he just looks at you like, "Who? What planet are you from? And why are you I, in my space?" Um, <laughs> I give him a charming everyone, thumbs up and a wink. <laughs> right. <laughs> everyone who's in that meeting, all the soldiers are now looking at you and this other guy that are having this kind of weird stare, staring exchange. Um, and they got real quiet. Um, and Dolby, you didn't have to roll if you're staying over by the bar. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I never watched that. I'm good. <clears throat> no, no, Jax, please don't don't stop on my account. I'll go back over to the bar now. <laughs> does, does the music like start back up after he stands up and walks away? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so the noises from the kitchen start going again, the clanking and cooking and whatever that's going on in there. And uh, even the fire um, stopped crackling for a moment after he knocked the, the chair down. Um, so they start talking again over in the meeting. There's one dauber who's got red hair and he's got like a big kind of uh, wrap around him. Also, he has some kind of strange markings on his face that um, it's just completely undauber like but um, it's like a kind of a tribal tattoo look. Um, and he was the one who stood up with the, you don't know what it's like in the West Watch. And he's now sitting back down and everybody starts whispering again. Um, all this has moved a little bit closer, um, but in general, uh, you don't know what else is going on. For um, tonight, do you have any, anything you want to do for now? Well, yeah, I mean, if the uh, the, the waitress came out, uh, the you know, if she's the one he's friends with, he would probably, um, you know, he'd probably, you know, start conversing with her. Uh, he'd probably, you know, if she saw him and came over, he um, he would definitely start a conversation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She she would have come over to you uh, also. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello! And then she realizes who it is and she drops her voice. How's it going today? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um... Well, first of all, I brought this this lovely young lady with me. From she came to me in the forest, uh, bandaged her up, still a bit injured, very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm healing nicely. <laughs> oh well, I just I remember you came in the other day. I was I was the one who helped you get acquainted with Mr. Fern here, and uh, I must say you do look better. Definitely look, look better. And and she's like, she's almost hovering around you a little bit. You know, she's looking at you like you're, um, you know, a, a prized vegetable. And 
um, but not like a vegetable, but you know, she's examining you in an almost uncomfortable way, but you know, she's like a grandmother, so she's used to it. Um, and then she kind of pauses with her head uh, really close to your face, but kind of to the side. She says, you know, it wouldn't hurt for you to have a hood up also. I mean, your ears are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And most people wouldn't mind such a thing, but um, it just depends on how much attention you want to draw yourself. Do I have a hood? Can I put a hood up? I'm gonna yeah. hide in the corner over here with my hood. <laughs> I'm used to, I'm uh, used to this, so. I, 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 don't, I don't understand, I mean, I see all, all kind of look the same. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's it's just uh, everyone. We we just. Is it the nose? Is, it, is the nose not big enough? Is that how it works? No, I just got a lovely nose. I mean, really, the size of a woman's nose often indicates how intelligent she is, and this one is quite quite smart. You can tell. Oh, I didn't know that. And he'll kind of like, he'll keep like, kind of like with his fingers, just like take little measurements, and then like he <laughs> like look through them and like like just you know compare noses. To everyone in the bar, uh, just, oh, I, I get distracted. And he'll, he'll he says, oh, "We saw something coming in." And he scoops the little bit of pumpkin goo off his shoulder, and he says, "Do you know anything about this?" I, uh, the, the, I don't know what that is. You have smeared stuff on you. <laughs> a I, towel. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it, it's a, there's a pumpkin outside. Someone, someone seems to have. Um, it, it wasn't made very well. Uh, I haven't, I haven't even been out this morning. It's been so busy in here with all these people to, to feed, and, and uh, you know, Dorothy didn't make it in this morning, and she's, I don't know where she's gone to, but she was supposed to be healthy. Uh, uh, but you say it's out front. I'll I'll have someone go check. Um, uh, can't, you can't miss it. It's right over, right out there. Very big, big pumpkin. Splits open. Very smells uh, very bad. Smell it. Your finger smells bad too. So. <laughs> Spreads the pumpkin. Towel. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, I I don't know how it is with you rat folk. Um. So she she even like leans and looks around the corner and can see. Uh, through the window. Oh, oh yes, I, I seem to remember some commotion. We were they were racing the pumpkins. They're rolling them down the street, and, and some kids were just having a grand old time. And that one must have not uh, gone the direction he wanted it to. Uh, but but, but I, I, just one more moment, Fern, and he she puts her hands on Ivy's shoulders. Dear, can I get you some food or a drink? You just you just seem rather down. Um, sure. I'm going to take some ale and a salad. I'm going to go over here and try to hide in the corner. Okay. All right. So, uh, and, and for you, Fern. Um, um, do you have any large mushrooms? Yes, we have. We have a mushroom salad. It's got a little bit of onion in it and some, uh, this sauce that we make. It's, it's, uh, it's like a vinaigrette. It's wonderful. Uh, sounds sounds lovely. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, just as she's kind of scurrying about, she she brushes by Dolby and says, "Did you want me to tell them?" And she points to the meeting room uh, that you're here or anything. I don't know if you're supposed to be here. I don't I don't know how you guys communicate. Yeah, I'm not even sure myself. I just showed up. That's what I was told to do. So I'm sitting here at the bar waiting, watching all the stuff going on. Uh, Fumble Boy over there fell down on his face a couple hey times. Hey, now! <laughs> He's uh, making a rack. I, didn't, I just don't want to get in trouble. I had enough problems where I was over at the East Watch. I don't need no problems coming over here. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just leave it to you then. I, I, Fumble uh, Boy. And she scurries off back in. It was a very beautiful attempt, though. <laughs> right. Yeah, it doesn't always work. All right, I'm ten, uh, by the way. Dolby, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you here? You're not from here either, huh? I'm here right now. I'm sitting. <laughs> I mean, are you are you sure? It sounds like you were East Watch. Are you? Yeah. What, what's your deal? Yeah, yeah. I uh, just got some orders to show up here and over at the uh, 
the uh, the uh, acorn in. I'm supposed to meet uh, my captain, uh, but I think he's in a meeting or something. What's going on uh -huh. over there? Okay. You know, Sweet. something some above my pay grade. <laughs> and most things are above my pay grade right now too. I understand. Yeah. Apparently sitting in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Alrighty. Um, unless anybody else is going to, uh, do, you know, assert something they want to do. I mean, it. Yeah, Fern is probably is probably kind of keeping his head down, mostly because the guard doesn't specifically like him that much. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that was loud. I gotta turn that down. Keep going. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, if. But he's he's very like he's very kind of still mulling over the uh, the the pumpkin smell, trying to th think if he knows anything that like might be poison, might have poisoned it. You know, he can fi even figure out anything of that, any of that out. All right, uh, very good. Um, so then, uh, everyone in the meeting kind of abruptly turns and stands up, not like the um, being polite and standing up for someone. Um, out of deference, but in this almost aggressive way, as a rat walks in and comes around this corner here. Um, the rat is a rather unique appearance, doesn't look anything uh, like the typical dress of someone from the Rat Claw clan, where they have leather and, and metal bands wrapped around them and carrying. Mm -hmm lots of weapons and they're typically scraggly and unkempt hair um, but he's actually pretty well uh, put together from a like he, he's clean he's bathed recently and he's actually wearing uh, order of the blue star armor so everyone kind of stands up and they're startled to see him at first and you can overhear a lot of this conversation oh this uh, ain't gonna be pretty <laughs> uh, what is that? Okay. That, that's a that's a rat wearing paladin. Yeah, colors. yeah, yeah. I know the paladin. What? Uh, there are a lot of rats here. Is that normal? There's like uh, two. That's like twice as many as I've seen <laughs> ever. Same for me. No. Yeah. So uh, all this immediately comes up to him and just like gets in between him and uh, the others. Um. You aren't needed here, Eliath, he says to him, and Eliath, but I just want to help. Um, there's been so many raids recently, and, and, I, and all this interesting. We appreciate what you did. We appreciate that you got word to the Capitol before the last raid. But quite frankly, your presence here was be, will be a distraction and will get our troops killed. And he, Elias backs up. Our troops. I, don't, I mean, I'm one of your troops. I'm a paladin. He's like, you've not been recognized by the kingdom. Maybe you were trained by one of the former retired paladins who, by the way, is no longer a paladin of the kingdom, but that doesn't make you one of us. So go home, continue your training or farming or whatever it is you do. And we will handle this. But that, Eliath kind of backs away and uh, sits here at this table for a few minutes um, while all this then goes back to the rest of the group. They're all talking a little bit louder now. It's hard to pick up the exact words of the conversation or exact, you know, the whole phrases in the conversation. But... Um, Can I make an insight check on all this? Yes. I'm just trying to get if he's like mad that he's there or if he's kind of, I like this guy, but this is the wrong place for him sort of vibe, right? Uh, sure. While, while he's doing that, it, Fern, uh, Fern would actually probably get up and go go approach him because Fern is uh, Fern is a, is a rat who has been kind of cast out. Of his own of his own clan, kind of like he doesn't fit the mold, so he doesn't often see other rat folk, uh, you know, mingling with daubers, I guess. Right. 
Uh, yeah. So, so he would probably like he would probably just kind of like <laughs> very like kind of like knock his chair out of the way and you know hobble <laughs> over with his staff. Um, and as as he kind of gets here, he's gonna kind of look around, like just kind of look under his hood to make sure no one's paying too too much attention. To say, "Hello, child. Who are you? I've, I've not seen you around here before." I'm I'm Goliath. I uh. I was raised by Belmore, and uh, after after getting abandoned by the rats, and I've just been trying to help. I just want to help. Uh, my home. Well, my friend, my young friend, you you have you are very very young, and so you probably have not noticed that these uh, these hairless uh, p- people. They don't respect us very much. I know, and I i was warned by my father. He, it doesn't, it doesn't change my duty. There are people who need help, and I'm going to help them, no matter what it takes. Can I get that roll, uh, 10? Uh, he, he already rolled. <laughs> I Pardon. rolled a nine. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. Um, you can tell that Aldous and um, this rat folk had a conversation and didn't go well. Um, <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess I guess um, Fern would kind of would kind of like push the chair down and sit sit down. He says, uh, "Well, what what seems to be the trouble? If they won't listen, perhaps." I can lend an ear. What seems to be the problem here? Uh, well, there's been the, the raids. You know, the, the rats are coming more and more. Um, and there's also this, uh, there's been a sighting of a fire and they never come this far north. It came right through uh, Belmore's field, set it on fire, and, uh, you know, it just feels like something is going on, and they won't send anyone to help. We're having to deal with it all by ourselves, and now they've got this guy from uh, the West Watch who simply wants to uh, ignore it. You know, he's come here asking for us to send our troops there, but he doesn't want us to get an official uh, order from the king to actually make this a this area, you know, on watch or something. It's I, I don't know how they do their commands and things like that, but it, uh, very, very not very nonsensical, very nonsensical. Um, perhaps so a dog does come over. Okay. Um, and he actually puts his hand on Corvus's shoulder and says, "It's all right, man. You've been a big help to us. You, you really have." And I want you to know that um, there are more in that room that believe in you than don't. It just, all this is old and he's not ready to accept that you might not be here to kill us. Um, So you gotta, he's, you're gonna have to keep that in mind. Um, And the same for Staggered and he's just, they're both gonna be trouble and uh, it's better for probably all of us if you do back out for this for the time being. Uh, but I'm here, you know, if you need anything. And uh, Eliath looks up at him. Says, "Thank you, Corvin." Or thank you, Corvin. <laughs> I, I, I better get back though. So I'll see you around. You are special. Well, it's, it's, it seems they they have decided that they have no for no use of you. But you you speak of interesting things. I have I have worked my whole long life to uh, to help who I can. These um, these small ones uh, make their ta- their home near mine, and they seek aid, and I freely provide it. So that I may teach them that not all of us are cruel and uh, inhospitable. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm glad to find out that I'm not the only rat who is like me. You know, 
quite frankly, everyone thinks we're killing machines, and I can't stand it. Anymore. <laughs> of course not. And uh, complete. And he'll kind of like reach over his back and break uh, something. He says, "Would you like a mushroom?" <laughs> uh, no, I don't eat mushrooms too much. I oh. prefer things that aren't decayed. It's not decayed. It's perfectly it, ripe. It, it came from decay, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, he he just kind of looks at it very very. T- oh well. Oh, oh. Yeah, and you can tell that this is purely like a a statement of of preference and being young and like not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's not. He's he not. he he'll learn. He'll learn how good how good mushrooms are someday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but uh, but he says, well, um, perhaps he says I I'm willing to sit if, if you wish to talk of your troubles, and there are the guards and the the military won't listen. Um, Oh, at least I can lend an ear. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I I appreciate that. I just don't. I just don't know what to do next. And just then, you hear a loud. Everyone hears this clank, and it's like imagine someone is carrying um, all of the dishes that they could possibly have. Um, in in their arms, and they drop them, and it's metal, which of course to any dauber ear sounds a little bit less than pleasant, um, you know, not painful or anything to that extent, but it's just like ah, oh, who would be carrying metal? And it's coming from the door uh, to the building, so it's not coming from the kitchens. This is a big crash noise from. From the doors on the southern part of the map? Yeah. Sorry, I'm stealing one of my guys. Okay, so so it sounds like it came from outside. From outside. Um, then you hear the, the clanking noise continue to uh, kind of, like there's movement involved with this clanking noise, and then the doors are thrown open. And some of the morning light comes in, and there's a dauber kind of stumbling into the room. Um, Dolby and Tennant can see him, and Ivy probably can too from their vantage point. Fern is kind of around the wall, mm-hmm. but what they see, and he'll let's just he'll just he'll walk into the room confidently. Now everyone can see him. Is a dauber who is dressed and covered with bits of metal. Like that's uh, <laughs> yeah. This picture doesn't actually represent him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> If like I didn't have to... time to draw every character, there would have been a lot of drawing involved. Well, there's a lot of, of just filler guys uh, as far as the book so. <laughs> He's yoked. Yeah, but so he's a, he's a young dauber, but he's just covered in in metal. He has like this big, long metal thing with a like a bowl at the end that's like strapped to his hip, but it's like as big as his leg. Um, he's got something on his head. Like it looks like a big metal teacup except it's too big for a dauber it's like a hat size um he's got scraps of armor he's got like hinges that are just like tied on a string and then wrapped around his waist and he's just covered with metal every movement he makes clanks and sh- jingles and shimmies and he felt kind of shiny the light from the candles and the or the, the lanterns and the fire is, is bouncing off of him and he comes into the comes into the room. Um, What's the opposite of music to my ears? Because this is the opposite of music to my ears. <laughs> yes, it is exactly. It's it's loud and obnoxious, and he doesn't seem to notice at all. So he's just kind of wandering in. Um, he comes over and, and sits here at this table. And he has a look on his face of, of some discomfort. Um, but it's obviously not from the metal because like when when no one's looking he's got like a piece of of an old spoon or something and he's like polishing it. Um, so at that uh, Beatrice hears and comes comes into from the kitchen she sees who it is and and then you can just see her expression is like oh great and she turns quickly around and goes over to the meeting and asks them about food and stuff like that 
Now this uh, guy that just came in is he a, a is he a younger guy? Did you say he was? Yeah, he was an older guy. No, he's young. He's young. He's okay, young Dabber. Uh, okay. Yeah, Fern will just yell like, "Yeah, turn that down, please." <laughs> um, he he looks over at you. Turn what down? What the noise? What what do you think? What, with my clankies? You don't like my clankies? No, of course not. Who would? But but they're so pretty. Look how shiny they are. And he kind of stands in front of the fire and, and turns around like he's doing a strange little very badly choreographed dance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. What are you doing? What is? What are you? Why are you moving like that? I thought you wanted to see my clankies. They're shinies and they're pretties. And do you want some? I know where we can find more. And he he has like a bag strapped to his pap, uh, uh, his his hip, and he reaches in and he pulls out a gold piece, not a not a wooden dauber like coin, but an actual piece of gold and I know where we can find a lot of these if you like these. It, what what do you do He's you, just do now you know talking to whoever's around. What it, yeah. What do you I'm gonna walk over there it, it, what why? What is it could, I, why? Why what? Why do you, top to bottom it, grossness. What is this? You don't don't like my shiny, all oh my clankies. Uh, no, what, what what good is it? It just rusts and fades away. Yeah, well, I haven't seen that. I just I find but, the, the lady in the wood. She tells me stories on where I can bring. There's a lady in the wood who tells you where to find shiny metals. Yes, and I can't find it. Well, okay, I lie. I'm sorry I, I lied, but no, it's I, okay. I, I lie all the time. It's fine. To get more, but I can't unless we find her. She's disappeared. You, thought... You're you're so you wearing all of this metal. Yeah. Have a friend who lives in the woods who tells you where to get the metal, but that friend is now gone. Yes, and we're going to find her so she can tell us where to get more metals. Metals? That is what we're calling this, right? I always just say Chinese. Or clankies. It depends. Like this one's shiny and this one's clanky. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh my god, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. No. Nope. I'm wondering if I could get transferred back to the East Watch. I'm wondering if this wait for this to happen. Right? Can I get transferred with you? It says uh, when he's talking about a woman in the woods, is, do, would I be like is there any way to see if I've heard of anything like that or that rings any bells? Uh, well, let's get a roll to see how many bells it rings. What kind of bell? What kind? Well, what kind of roll do you want? What What would that be? Um, it would be like whatever you would do to hear rumors and that kind of thing. Would that be insight? No. Be um. So. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's. I mean, you could say that it's. Uh, it's like a history check. You could say that it's a nature check. Um. Let's go with history, yeah. Okay. Uh, could also just be, yeah, whatever. Uh, just... I got a, I got a one. <laughs> Welcome to the you club. A natural one. I got a, yeah. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> right, yeah. So there's a woman in the woods. Got to be someone who just like walked out into the woods from here. I, um, I, I insist. No, what? there's no such thing. There's no, there are no people in the woods. What are you talking about? Oh, but there is. This is this, this woman. She's uh, she's not like anyone I've ever seen. This makes no sense. Take me there now. I, oh, I can't. I want to. I can tell you where she was last. Time. A new follower. Do you want to go? Let's go see the woman in the woods. Oh, where she was last. <sighs> Yeah, uh, Fern will, Fern will kind of, like, push his chair up and, like, take a couple steps and say, Very well, we go now. Would you like a mushroom? Uh, do, 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 is it shiny? 
Can I get a roll from Ivy <laughs> for um, uh, the same thing? Intelligence, history. While he's doing that, could uh, Dolby start to get a little impatient <laughs> with all these things that are going on around him? Just kind of mm -hmm. making his way closer over towards Aldous, just to let Aldous at least catch sight of him, to let him know that he is there. Okay. So put your <laughs> put your marker out somewhere else in the in the room. Okay. So I'd say maybe over to this direction. All right. Not not close enough to like to make it look like that I'm actually listening or anything, but just so that he notices that I am there. Gotcha. Yeah. So Clear your throat. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Um, we have a roll from because I don't have the stuff up. Where do I would see it? I should see it. Uh, that was for Ivy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I. It's not doing it for me. I don't know why. Are you on, on your? On your sheet? Yeah. Here, hold on, let me try. Uh, that rolled it as me, but I clicked it and I got an eight. An eight? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if... Here, was that her or so? Or? That was her skill, yeah. I'm, ch I'm seeing if this should be set up properly. Looks like it should. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Assuming that her, her history skill is the same as mine. Uh, that worked. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that worked. There you go. So you rolled a, a five. Oh, no, the, five. the 22 is the advantage roll. It, no. it by default rolls uh, two dice, unless you set it to only do one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Um... All so right, no, well. we, none of us know anything. We're just we're all horrible today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's collectively extra, extra helpful. So this is, we're gonna go. Or um, yeah. Uh, so what then happens next is um, you guys are pondering this very loud, clanky guy. The meeting is all but stopped because he's making so much noise, and Dolby's now walked over there. So all this just immediately runs. Well, not runs, literally, but walks right up to him. He's a big guy. He kind of looks down at Dolby. Dolby, just a little bit taller. Is Dolby. Yes, sir, it's me. As far as I know, you were supposed to be here two days ago. Where have you been? Well, you see, sir, uh... Uh, everybody else got their orders. I, me, I didn't get any orders until after they left, two days after that. That's when Kravik, he gave me the orders and he said, you made her get going and get out there if you want to come over here to the West Watch. So I, uh, I did. Now I'm here. You got your orders from Kravik. I... Yeah. Here. So they sent Kravik to replace me at the East Watch. I liked him. He was a good guy. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing in this country anymore. You <laughs> should have been here two days ago, and I don't know what this nonsense is about getting your orders later than everyone else. That's not the way it works. You're clearly just a slacker, and you took some time at a brothel or something on the way here. Brothel. So you could just go back over to the bar and drink yourself into a stupor and come back next week. Uh, and then what? <laughs> and get your orders then. If I feel like giving you it. I feel like... There's something going on here. Yes, there's something going on here. You're getting suspended. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a week? A week. All right. Do I get paid for that week? Get out of my sight. 
All right. Thank you, sir. And I just walk back slowly. Uh, <laughs> before you get uh, too far, um, this, yeah, that, didn't, that didn't go so well. Yeah, the this, this strange looking dauber um, who knew when no one recognized his, uh, comes over to Aldous and uh, begins to speak with him. Um, and you guys can overhear it. Is it possible for me to uh, have a, just a five minute break? I know we're in the middle of the stream, but um, I've just, I've got to go back. Yeah, uh, I suppose. Um, okay. Uh, so if he's uh, if he's doing that, uh, let me see. Sorry. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, okay, cool. So while I guess while he's doing that, um, why don't we why don't we, why don't we narr like narrate through something? So um, we're 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 all kind of like we're all kind of in the tavern. Like we're all kind of. There's there's uh there's a little bit of a uh, there's this weird dude. Fern is basically ready to go out the door with him. Um, also, he you know I, I don't know if any like if any of you guys are here looking for anything specific or you guys are just chilling in the tavern. You're also muted, so that would. I'm looking for my dignity. Bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was here looking for a job. Uh, barring that. It crazy guy who has shiny things out in the forest seems, you know, something to do, <laughs> barring I mean, I, actual work. I got a week's vacation, so <laughs> I'm open. My calendar for the next week is wide open. I feel like that's that that same thing happened to me the last time I went into work. Was like the, <laughs> you walk in they're like, oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, uh, triggered. Just, just go, just go home. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um, yeah. What about what about Ivy? Is Ivy particularly looking for anything? Because she hasn't really said much. I don't know if no, she's. No, I'm I'm trying to hide over here in the corner because I'm a Sylvan Dauber. I'm not comfortable here. So. Oh, so you want to get the hell out? Yeah, I just want out of here. I'm trying to figure out what's okay. going on in the corner with those soldiers and just trying to keep my head low. Get out of this place. Plus, Fern smells now, so I had to like go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> now? No. <'cause> he... <laughs> With the pumpkin, yeah, the pumpkin would just yeah. Like, no, that wouldn't. That I mean, he always smells. Yeah, but he smells even worse. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's just. Yeah. It's not a. This is not a new development. <laughs> no. He's. I don't know. I we we didn't really do. I didn't describe him that much. I should point out, Fern is not just wearing a cloak. He actually has like you know those like shoulder cape things that they go over to just your shoulders. Uh, he has one of those that's made entirely of moss. And he's a he's a very like dirty rat. He doesn't he doesn't really bathe all that much, and he's covered in moss and mushrooms and sticks and things. Crazy. So I am super sorry about that. Just to um, needed to, to step out for a second, but where? Uh, yeah, and and even though you didn't roll great on that roll earlier, Ivy, you would have definitely still wondered what the woman in the wood reference was. There's something... Yeah, actually, about the same time Fern was asking, I was thinking who is this person and I know them. <clears throat> yep. So, um, as you're walking away, Dolby, this other uh, dauber comes up to all this and says, I think it's this meeting's gone on long enough. I am going to go back to the West Watch and um, I'm going to take as many of your men who I can. Doesn't matter whether you agree, my orders come from higher up than you uh, can can say. So I'm leaving and I'm taking your men. And he walks out. Unless somebody doesn't. Oh, great. There goes my vacation. <laughs> Wait, are you, do you still have the vacation or now do you not? I don't, I don't get sure. it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yet. I, I don't understand these these people. These people and their customs make very little sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, he leaves, and the uh, other daubers that were in that room uh, leave. 
So now I just pull them into the hallway for now. Okay. So that um, was um that was the, the all the soldiers and Dolby's like captain. They all gone. Well, all this is not gone yet. He he just goes back over and sits down in the meeting room by himself. This might okay. be the best best time for me to approach him about my promotion. <laughs> 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 well, they don't have a if they don't have a local captain. I mean, say hey. it looked like he might be hiring again. Yeah. So, um, what do you guys do about the soldiers? Nothing. I, I, in, in general, I mean, what's your next? Yeah. I mean, if uh, Fern uh, and Ivy are both kind of interest like there we we live in the woods we're interested in what's going on in the woods um the the kind of military i think the military movements and uh qualms um don't really register very much with us so we're probably interested in seeing what's what this talk of a weird woman in the woods is okay. and also i think okay. ivy had mentioned something like uh she had a little bit more information on the uh the like the the plants and stuff that we're not doing too well i've noticed it yeah so i've noticed yeah. that things are going on okay all right um so tell, tell me where you guys are all at at the moment then so i mean if, if if metal dude is gonna is like if he's not doesn't have other business we'll like we'll go out we'll go out with him um i think 10 uh tended was Probably yeah. somewhat interested in that. That's at least what I he's think seen. there might be a story in it. Yeah, well, and at I think something. It's better than going to the West Watch, where people sound like they're getting killed. Yeah, um, and also, I mean, Tenen probably would have noticed the the gold piece. Um, I thought we didn't like gold. Like shiny things were weird and not cool. Yeah, well, but. Uh, the money is still represented by gold because Diverton does have to trade with outside kingdoms. Okay. So um, ultimately, gold is still probably, you know, in the world the most valuable uh, money. Um, okay. But it's it's just that you know the kingdom tries to have their own um, thing. So. Okay. Yep. Um, and. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, the, then Tin is there, oh, the guy covered in metal, there. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and he's kind of wrestling around still. He's, he's almost now dancing more for himself because he likes the little clanking noise, um, but he's not doing it nearly. No, no, as, as soon as he does it, like, no, 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 it's stop, no, no, no. You're stopping that. Yeah, that's not, you're, you're not going to continue Set doing down. that. Nope. Mm -mm. You mm -mm. are giving me a headache. Ah. Uh, Maybe the woman would help with your head. Oh, mean, I have, I have, no, no, no. I have a root for that. Would you like a root? No, I, I mean I have a root for dancing. that. Is woman as well? What? <laughs> I feel like nobody. What, what just happened? So there's a wait, wait, wait. So let's just. Do you, it seems like y'all are interested in maybe going to figure out what this woman thing is. Because I feel like as crazy as this person is, he's you're crazy, and it's not. I'm not trying to be mean, but that much metal. I there's got to be a healer who can help you or something. Did somebody but, said there's a woman in need of something. <laughs> what? What? But I uh, yeah. So my friend is in the woods, and she tells me stories, and those stories lead me to shinies and clankies. And I thought you guys were interested because you came to talk to me, and there was it seems like you're more interested in her. This than story you. sounds familiar. I've heard, I've heard it before. Okay. Like, what story? The, the, you just uh, there's about a woman in the woods with shiny metals. I've heard this story before. Where have I heard it? it was I was at that table five minutes ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember. I, I said that it was me. Oh, was that you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got the part. Let's go. And he He's leans like, over, like, towards you, like, just out of, you know, natural, enthusiastic conversation. And then he's like, you stink. Me <laughs> back. I mean, uh, Yeah, what is that? I know, I guess. 
I, I don't follow. Uh, oh, but I thought you were going to come with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Anyone? I want, I want you to come with me. I want you. I want you. And he points at Dolby. I want you. I want and he points at uh, Fern. Uh, because you're interesting. And you look strong, and we need someone stronger. Or... I, I mean, I yeah, I can move things. You can. <laughs> you look like you can move things. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but like you my, also have one point. of the pointy sticks, right? On your hip, I see it. It's with my eyeballs, I see it. Yeah, and I move it. Yes, because we might need a pointy stick. Um, and anybody else who wants to come can come, I suppose. But Yeah. Here's my liver. It's chopped. I'll just sit over here and eat it. Thanks. Don't point at me. It's okay. Hey, Fumbles, come with us and entertain us. <sighs> Fine. Yes. They're shiny things. And a story, maybe. Let's do this. Okay. I, I like stories. Um, all right. Very good. So uh, that, I guess, uh, gets us all kind of on the same page. Um, He's going to walk his way around. He said, oh, follow me, follow me. That was, that clank, was clank, 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 clank. Uh, I give him some distance, so I'm not so close to the clanking. All right, you guys, you have the things you need, right? Before we leave. I mean, I mean we are here. We should ask. You have the things you need? Yes. Oh, well, let me go grab my backpack. Okay. I go upstairs and grab my backpack. And he like pats a bag and it's got stuff in it. You don't know what, but he pats it. I'm all set. Yeah. Dolby does the same. Okay. Because it's it's a long way. Okay. I got, goes, a, right. I got a full week to kill. Good. Okay. Um, anybody say anything or do anything else? I, I mean, uh, Fern's probably like halfway out the door. He's, I mean, uh, if, though he did, he did kind of stock up, like, come into town to get, like, uh, cloth bandages and things like that, like, basic supplies. Okay. Yeah, so, on that note, we'll say that, um, you have provisions and whatnot that you might want to have. Alright. Uh, yeah, he'll, I mean, it, I assume he trades for them, so he probably would drop off, uh, like... You know his. I don't know some some poultices, some powders. You know that he that he's made in exchange for his his bandages and his food things and this and that. Okay, that works for me. Anybody else have notes like that they want to share? All right, very good. Uh, so you guys move on out of the inn onto the street. Um, a few hours have passed, um, and it's near midday the flies and things are starting to gather around this pumpkin it does appear to be now in a more uh, obvious state of decay um, which is pretty strange for just being a couple hours however i guess uh, dolby and 10 this is your first seeing of it you might have you know up to you if you yeah. heard the commotion oh my <laughs> lord what is that it smells like that rat it smells worse than the rat. Yeah. How does something smell worse know. than the rat? It's, How is that a thing? It's close. I don't understand what's, uh, no, it's not good. It's not good. Why? Can we just walk past it? I mean, no. We, let's just go. No. Let's, let's just go. No. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, like, I'm getting just, insulting from both huh. sides. I got a pumpkin on one side and I no. got a with smell. Oh, my God. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Keep walking. Should we just go around it? Yep, that yeah. noise. Walk around. Yes. Yes, that. All right, I'll follow you. You go ahead. Uh, okay, walk well, around it. Uh, All right. Okay. All I don't right. know what you're talking about. What? Oh. Oh. The clanky oh. doctor just keeps moving forward. He just walks oh. right past it. He veers to the... Uh, I think I threw open my mouth. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yep. yep. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, I'm not, I'm okay. Not it, okay. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's better. Oh. Yuck. Um... You guys walk past the bakery, and there's a nice new smell there as you go past it. Oh, um, and, oh it's the nicest thing I've ever smelled. Oh, bread. I oh, love other, bread. Bread, oh. yes. With sugary toppings and other assorted uh, delights 
fruit. <sighs> yeah, I can't step too hard. I have a gluten intolerance. <laughs> 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 oh. Pretty unfortunate. Um, we passed a few other buildings, uh, a couple specialty shops. There's only a few shops in Oakden that carry things other than what the Acorn Inn can supply in their general store. And uh, then a few trees that have houses built into them. The road gets smaller and smaller until you find yourself no longer really in town. Um, you cross a small creek. There's some stones. If you care to stay dry, you can kind of skip across it. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would definitely hop across that. All right. Uh, and you uh, make your way uh, down the, the, the path a little bit further. It's not too long before you realize you are getting a good ways out of town. And uh, ten, the, the guy eventually says, they call me Tin. That way I can stop calling him Tin and saying, oh, it's, and it's T-I-N, not T-E-N. Um, I wonder why they call you Tin. Yep. Un, uh, and he's why? just clanking along uh, with no no regard for how loud he's being or how uh, he's walking. You know, if there's, you know, a flower or something that happens to be growing up kind of near or, or in the path, he just walks right over it, you know, without any... Uh, awareness, you know, most daubers probably wouldn't step on that nice little flower. Um, and he is moving along the path. After a couple hours, um, you may be starting to wonder, you know, how, how much longer you're going to be moving on along this way. Do you guys do anything? Do you have any? Yeah, I complain about my bunions. <laughs> I hate long walks. Yeah, I mean, it's nice out here. I haven't been out this way before. I'm enjoying the walk for now. All right, good. Um, so the path turns a little bit to the east, and um, Fern would probably have an idea that we're getting now to the point where if you were to go on east, it would take you out to one of the southern fields. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, he kind of stops looks around where why did we go last? i swear to god if you're lost i i um just don't know where to go i mean i'm not lost I, 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 let's go this way and he just like takes off into the forest no path just just plow, plows right through can, can i use either like that anyone who's close enough would get you know the limb whack in the face thing and he Back. <laughs> can i use my uh my nature or my survival to uh kind of either figure out where we like what direction we're heading like if i i assume i know the woods probably around oakden um fairly well uh okay. so like if if we're being led in a direction in tor towards anything i might recognize or know sure sure and uh, uh ivy could do the same so ivy would so if, yeah, get a. Um, you want uh, nature or yeah. survival? Um, yeah, survival. Better. better okay. Survival. We are so lost. Uh, nineteen. There we go. Start oh, the All right, our first double-digit rolls of the night. No, no, that's not true. I knew oh, what wait. the fuck that pumpkin was. Yeah, <laughs> you want a pumpkin. Right. <laughs> And you still smeared it on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you guys are getting really uh, pretty far south. Um, you realize that there's not anything this direction that you know of of any significance other than more trees and eventually a bog. Mm-hmm. So um, you're not going towards a town. You're not going towards, a, you know, a, a particular farm or, or field of any kind. It's just, you're just going out into the, the wilderness. You both realize that. Um, and even, and Jess or uh, Ivy would know pretty particularly that this bog um, is just, it's just a, a nasty kind of place. You pass through it. It's not got a lot of, of value um, as far as healthy, growing, living things. Mm -hmm. uh, where, I was, where is this? 
Where's this strange person taking us? There's nothing down here, just this mud and sticks and slime. But we've, we've got to keep going this way. We it's going to be worse than you and that pumpkin. Uh, are you sure it's this way? I. You, you use that word sure so confidently. No. Now I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. <laughs> Just now? Like, like right now. Like, yeah. This is a finding moment move, in this whole situation where you're like, yes, this is bad. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Um, just about that time, um, there's two particularly large trees that are kind of coming down in a V, and um, any normal person would walk around them because it's you just do that when you come up to a, a clump like that. But he kind of scrambles kind of up one of the, the protruding kind of root nubs on one and then finds himself in between the two trees. Oh, this is going to be good. As, as he does that, the his metal things that are hanging, the pots and pans, and spins the clank on both sides <laughs> of the trees, and he kind of falls through and, and a scene oh, disappear. Other than the clank! So there's a part of me, I, like peering over the, the branches, like... <laughs> Like, this is like when your friends fall and you don't know when it's okay to start laughing. <laughs> right. One of those moments, like, is he okay? He's yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. now we can laugh. Yeah. I don't um, even... Yeah. So I can, can I climb up there and, like, look over and see if he's... Alive? Alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's fine. Um, he's starting to clank and get back up. Jess or, or Ivy just goes right up the tree without any problem whatsoever. Um... And like I said, these are these are some large trees. Just but but they were blocking your view. Um, and now that he's getting himself up and kind of collecting, there's a small pool of water down um, just over the ridge here. Not really a ridge, but just down in this sort of depression in the woods. Um, it's got some large rocks kind of positioned around it. Um, there's a lot of mushrooms growing here. And you notice the smell also. It does smell uh, rotten and decayed. Um, there's lots of bugs flying around, and um, it's got you know scum on the top of the water, things like that. There's also a huge fallen tree with the roots all up, kind of like if this is the water, it's kind of like this, um, on the opposite side of this pool. The pool's not so deep that you couldn't wade across it. You can see also a number of small uh, little lines of water that run into it and run out of it. So it's kind of, there is some water feeding it, um, passing around the area. And at this point, it's about dusk. Um, it's the, the lights are getting a little bit low in the sky, the lights, the, the sun. Uh, so 10, Gets up, he's like, oh, he fell down. Um, <laughs> and I think, I think I did it. I wasn't sure if I could usually, if you come at night, it's a lot easier. I know uh, when I came here last time, it was night and it was so much easier because these mushrooms and he's like pointing around, they are bright and pretty. And there's other little lights that fly around and just make it all, it's quite magical. Um, do, but this is this is it. Clank, 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 clank. Do, clank. do I know anything? Like, would I know anything about oh, glowing lady, mushrooms? Lady, are you here? Um, I don't remember. Did I tell you about this or not? I can't remember. If I think stuff. I I, rem I distinctly remember talking about glowing mushrooms. Okay, then yeah, then <laughs> like I, I I remember that coming up. I don't remember the context because okay, yeah. So I have bad at that. Would, would also, you get, you remember that this, these particular mushrooms that appear gray and almost um, unnaturally discolored during the day have this phosphorescent purple glow at night. Um, and it's, they're, they're sprouting up in areas where 
uh, the other plant life is dying. And so you recognize that. Does it also smell like the pumpkin smelled? Yeah, yeah, there's some of that. Mm. But there's also it's, warm it's, decay smell too. So that's. This it, it, place is. This place offends the senses. It is foul. Does foul. all of Westwatch smell like this? Yeah, I don't think this was the right idea for me. I, I ripped two little pieces off of some cloth and shove it in my nose so I don't <laughs> smell it. It's ridiculous. But I knew what a walrus is. I'd say that's what you'd look like. But, what, what does that even mean? I don't even understand. <laughs> I, um, what, that, why are we I, here? Are you, are, are you telling me this strange woman dwells in the middle of this horrid swamp? You don't don't think it's pretty it's it's kind of it's pretty right it's getting dark you can kind of see that the the, the the mushrooms are changing yeah. a little bit and you are seeing some lights above the water um a little floating lying lighting thing. uh can i use my my druid craft to craft like to conjure my own little kind of wisps like motes of light just to kind of illuminate the area around me yeah just, yeah, just so, yeah. Sure. Yeah, just, just, he, 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 I don't, I don't, do, rats don't have dark vision, right? No, the only uh, ones there are the, the yeah, then, Terran divers, you know, we don't have any of those. <laughs> yeah, then that, then that's, uh, then that's what he'd do is he just, because, you know, he walks in the woods, he'd probably just conjure some little floating lights around him just to, so he knows where to step. Uh, and then he'd probably bend down and just start examining one of these mushrooms. I probably haven't seen one of them up close yet, but. Um, you know, probably like pluck it out of the ground and start examining its, its little mushroomy insides. All right. Yeah. Okay. Ken will go look over his shoulder and be like, is this mushroom somehow different than other mushrooms? It, it's glowing blue. Well, that's weird. Yeah. What do you think that means, Whiskus? Why, why are you, why are you worried about the mushrooms? If I take a bite out of it, what is it? What does it ta Like, does it taste, oh. does it taste foul? Um, yes. It tastes okay. like meat. Like meat? Yes. Which, you're Is that a rat. good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, like, I'm trying to decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> right. The, the other rat folk in the, the world don't mind so much having a little uh, meat every now and then, but most of the daubers would be like, this is nasty. Yeah. Um, mm. This is... This is pork? I think Are you sure you should be? That doesn't. I, I don't think you should be eating that. Yeah, I don't think that doesn't look like a good idea. Not at all. Oh, no. I would, it, it's fine. I uh, I, I can. Any. Uh, I, I, it's not poisonous. Oh, yeah. It's glowing! <laughs> Clearly not poisonous. Clearly not. <laughs> We'll we'll roll for your constitution, you know, in a couple days, and and, and we'll cover that now later. Um, <laughs> right, right when we need them. Yeah, so it's all right. I'm a, I'm a druid. I can I can cure. I can uh, whatever cure poison. <laughs> See, look, it's already going to his head. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely it's it definitely does seem unnatural though. There's something about this yeah. mushroom that is not uh, like other mushrooms. Uh, it doesn't what, taste the same and. Um, Actually, give me an arcana roll. Arcana? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is there? Is it like? Is it? Is the soil that it's growing in any different? Is it like normally fertilized? Is it weird? There's nothing visually uh, different about okay. the soil, other it's than a, it's just a bog, so things are nasty. Yeah. That's a twenty on the arcana. All right, great. Yeah, I have. That's the one part of uh, my role playing I've covered by all your beautiful faces. That's all so, good. Um, Thanks for telling me. The yeah, so you you totally can tell that there is um, some magic at play here. Some something mm -hmm. is infusing this mushroom with um, with sort of an undeadness. Undead? That it's an undead mushroom. I okay, uh, but not like. Not like lit, like like it's not a zombie mushroom. It's just no. it's got the essence. It's like a little like a sprinkle of undead, right? Just a, yeah. just a season. Yeah. 
it's got undead <laughs> coursing through its veins if it had veins and it was mm. yeah he'll probably while well, he tosses out and say young young hairless person this is a very strange place and i don't think it's very safe for you to be here but but, but she's coming and she's he's been trying to get your attention like she, 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 she's coming. um i thought you said she was missing i yeah uh, wait a minute what you said she was missing and now she's coming how do we know that what the, is I this sure. a trap i'm starting to feel a trap um, you also, I mean, just in the last couple hours of walking with this guy, you realize he tends to talk in circles. He doesn't always say the same thing about the same thing in the same way. Right? So, um, the, uh, there's movement, the large tree that's, that's got its roots all turn up and like scraggly and pointing out over the water. Uh, there's movement from behind those roots. Like, you know, into the roots, there's like a, a whatever a movement comes up above them. And you see uh, a figure that has kind of a humanoid shape, very small, smaller than you even, uh, as daughters. The skin appears to be bark, like that of wood. And uh, there's leaves and things kind of growing as if the leaves were hair. You can kind of see that there's a, a bit of a female form implied by her shape, but um, really to call this thing a woman um, is probably un unknown. Um, the facial features are not very clearly defined and it's all kind of shimmering and uh, the light is dancing around, the lights that are now over the water and even lights that are kind of uh, playing around in the area um, and she or it raises up and very slowly very gracefully kind of just continues to raise up onto the largest root that's there it's hard to tell a distinction between the root and its limbs because they are wooden and it's in certain lights, it looks like she's growing out of the tree. In others, it looks like she's standing on it. Tin, have you brought me some new friends to tell stories to? You'll have to speak up. I can't hear you. Yeah, what, what is she saying? Tin, you've brought me friends. Do they want to hear a story? No. <laughs> Normally I would say yes, but under the circumstances, I'm feeling a no. I'm feeling a no here as well. Yeah. yeah. What's, what? I'm getting a creepy vibe. Are you getting a creepy vibe? I got the creepy vibe. Oh, okay. Do, I thought it was no, still good. No, he's, he's like, I like stories. He has, the stories lead to clankies and other things, whatever you want. I it's loud enough as it is. Do we want? need more clankies? It leads to what I want. I want shinies and clankies. Why don't, don't just ask her what you want. Maybe she will. Maybe she will. Do you have uh, a story? Hello, hello, my name is Fern. Are you responsible for the strange meat tasting mushrooms? They, they taste like meat. <laughs> a new father. Uh, responsible. Are they your mushrooms? Because they're weird. Aren't they pretty? Don't you like them? No, I'm not not particularly. I, I haven't. I, I might have to take one home and see if they have medicinal use. But um, I'm, oh, I don't... they do. Oh, they, what do they treat? That's very very interesting. Um, this is wait. Uh, Fed Ferd Ferd. This is incredibly troubling to me. I just. I feel like that. You, miss, with the barky skin? You're incredibly troubling to me. Wait, what is the deal with, what are you? You are the reason I'm here. I'm the reason you're here? You and ones like you. Wait, who's your mob? I mean, it wasn't me, I swear to God. What? I said, who's your mob? I said. <laughs> he said, he said mob, he's got those things in his mouth. I got the so things in my mouth. I guess really hard to understand right now. <laughs> I don't know your mother. I promise it's a probably your mom. Not your mom. He's talking about your mom. Yeah, what he said. 
She will die. What's with your uh, voice? You got like emphysema or something? <sighs> Tin. I'm feeling a little threatened. I have a story for you. I told you. You need to collect three pebbles, three stones, and three rocks and return to me. And Tin just look like he steps back. He is he you crestfallen. Like the world is just he's like But you never told a story like that. I, I don't know what that means. I need more. That's it. Three pebbles, three stones, and three rocks. Go. I feel they need to help a brother out no, here. I want one more story. You need Wait, to give me more nine stories. All together? Are we looking for nine rocks? Because isn't a pebble a stone and a stone is a rock? And so Wait, that, no, no, no. All, all pebbles are rocks, but not all rocks are pebbles. Oh, oh it's like a, a diagram thingy. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I remember wait, that from school. What about a boulder? Is a boulder a pebble? <laughs> so, so Tannin, Can you break a boulder into all nine? Yeah. <laughs> he uh, turns around. He's completely forgot you guys are there now. And he starts walking back towards where the two trees come up in a V. And uh, he looks like he's gonna leave. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna leave. Whoop! Grab his collar. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be safe out there in the forest. But... <laughs> yeah, Clanky, you should not definitely be not going out there without making all that racket at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. But I've never, I've, I've, I've never had any problem before. I live out here. It's very nice. I like it. Right. I'm pretty sure I just heard this lady whisper, you will die, or she will die, or something like that. I feel like if you leave right now, your life might be in danger. It's really hard to hear, so you, you, know, you might have not heard it yourself, but it, you know, it was like really like low. I, I, have, I have to find the stones, and the pebbles, and the rocks, and I'm sure it means something else. Wait, is there like a time limit on this? It always means something else. <laughs> Let him go. Well, we need him to find our way home. That's not particularly... We, we don't really want to do that. I'm still concerned about these strange mushrooms. Can you explain them to me? I have a story for you. I, is it about mushrooms? I just got something to do with rocks. <laughs> I, I don't have I any it's rocks. Metal and rocks. Yeah, like, here's some really annoying metal with some rocks next to them. And this is what you need to go find. Is that what your story is? It is something for you to find. Eh? Well, did, well I, I'm listening. I'm not going anywhere for the moment. What? Follow, <clears throat> follow the flowing path through the wood carved by water till you reach a stone not formed in the wild. Bring me the ember with a liquid heart and do this before the twins and the Starfather align. Twins? At that moment, I feel like I should have taken some notes. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot. Is. Okay, wait. Wood, or flowing path through the carved wood, bring yeah. you, bring you the, the ember with the liquid heart before the twins and the Starfather align. That's a lot of work. Why would I do that? Because if you don't, yeah. and then the... Um, root thing, the tree that she's on, mm -hmm. stands up. What is it? What this is it? wood raises up out of the ground with four huge wooden limbs. And you now see that that big root ball at the end is like a head, kind of. And why, did you, why, did you, why did you you had to go and she had to get bigger? What did, why is this so large? Yeah, and it's 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 big, big, like um, you know, four or five times taller than than Dobbers. He says, "I will destroy Oak Den and the West Watch, and, and anything standing in between the rats and your precious stuff." Hold you, great. Bring me the ember with a liquid heart. So. Four random people you just met, you're expecting us to go out and bring you a thing and then bring it back or you're going to destroy Oak Dead? Because that seems mean. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that vibe. Come by me. <laughs> Under understandable. Um, 
Tin yeah. kind of hears what's going on. He's still very distracted by his thing, but but he does say, yeah, that's that's why I go. I she can't leave. I try to help her. Wait, so right? Okay, yeah. hold on, hold on. First yeah. of all, you should say these things. There are quests and danger before up front. I didn't know it was a quest. I thought she wanted to help you find shinies like me. Hey, hey, Tim, has she been being like, find these shinies or I'm going to kill Oak Dead? Is that what she's been saying to you? No. No. Okay, so it's just us. She, I don't know. Maybe right. there's... First of all, lady, what's her name? What's her name? Marky Poo. You can call me the Wood Sprite. The Wood Sprite. Okay. Is that the Wood Sprite or just Wood Sprite? The big tree golem steps toward you, Dolby. Do you think this is funny? No. <laughs> Good. I mean, funny I mean, weird, right? Never. Like, not funny haha, but funny, funny weird. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not normal. I have a very weird sense of humor, and if it offends you, I mean, it's not. I think we're going to get along pretty well, Dopey. Yeah. I think All right. Great. Yep. Okay. So, um, <laughs> at that time, the floating lights that are, right. that are above the water um, suddenly kind of snap into a line, and it appears to be pointing down, or pointing maybe pointing, I don't know. It's aligned with the direction of uh, one of the the paths of water that is flowing out of this bog. Right. I, That's pretty convenient. I think she's trying to tell us that we should we should go do this thing now, but I just want to I just want to mention that I I, I want to formally say that I'm doing this <laughs> under under protest. Can we have a group huddle? Log that on your notes, if you would. <laughs> All right, but I'm not touching the rat. He smells like... <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to stay. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stay here, and if two of you are going, I guess I have to go. But I would have preferred a group huddle to talk this through first, just for the future. Like, I mean... We, yeah, I have to go find the pebbles. Go Please find let the me pebbles. go find the pebbles. No, we, were, we didn't really want Clanky in the group. I think no. we're just talking to everybody else. No, no, you're good. Go find your pebbles. Have fun. Bye. Yeah. Ivy, you're with us, right? Yes, I'm with you. So right. Go find this ember. I'm pretty sure you didn't want to go with Clanky. No, I'm not going with Clanky. <laughs> All right. That just seems like. Do you let, let go of him, uh, Fern? Yeah. It's, he's gone. All right. He, he clanks through the V in the tree, and uh, uh, you oh, hear him clanking God. on on through the forest for a while, and then he just suddenly gets silent. Like just having them not around, my headache, like instantly. Uh, are you Are you sure you don't want this root? You can chew on it. It, it works for headaches. No, I, like it's it's going. It's getting better now. Yeah, I'll okay. take it. I'll do no. it. I'll take <laughs> some. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's like it's like a, like a ginger root. It's like you just oh, chew on it. I love it. This is great. Okay. Thank you so much for this. It's more like a nasally thing now. Like it's yeah, like no. Being assaulted. I have, a, I, have, I have a, I have a, I have a, a, a sap for that. You rub it under your nose, just like this. Yeah, yeah, it's the same stuff on your shoulder. I don't want no part of it. <laughs> I have cloth. Do you want some cloth? I'll just give you cloth. Yeah, the, uh, the tree. Do you want to help me? Root, yeah. ball, and uh, <laughs> and the, the uh, person that was standing on it are are now just. Uh, it looks like a normal tree. It's still fallen over. It may be in a slightly different position as it was when. Uh, when you got here, but uh, there's yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. This time, uh, okay. All right, it works for me. It's, it's not for everybody. I understand. <laughs> no, like I can't put context in either. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> so I, uh, um, so it, uh, yeah. So okay. Just, just as a as a point of clarity, uh, weird, weird. Um, what the hell are they called? Uh, um. Uh, Spriggan woman uh, <laughs> in the forest, not familiar at all, correct? Correct. Yeah, I mean, the, the dice don't lie. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, no, I just want to know. I just wanted to know if it's a thing that like you know anyone is aware of, or this is a completely new phenomenon. Yeah. How about how about Tenet? Can he give me a history roll? He can with his big old history roll of one. Did you really roll? No, no, no. I. Uh, it's not Earlier, actually rolling. Hang on a second. That was your deception, right? Doink. Why are you not rolling? Oh, it's asking me for advantage. Nope, no advantage. Sixteen. All right. And that's a bubble um, one. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, you seem, you're like, you've got this weird thought in your head, like, that's, that's just bizarre. There's no way that's related, but, you know, I mean, there's just that rumor about the, the, the sister of the king, like, getting banished into the forest and something happening, but, I mean, that, you know, there's no way that's related, right? You know, guys, there's a thing about, I, I'm from Dobberton, originally, just so you know, I'm from the oh, oh, okay. Right, yeah, from, like from right, yeah. that's why I that's why I know some things from the east side. From the east side, yeah, absolutely. Um, and the the wife's the kid the 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 wife of the king was kicked out essentially. Uh, was it daughter? Was it daughter? What did I say? Yeah, I, I explained what he said. Yeah, <laughs> and let me write that down again. How was that? That was the the wife of the king was kicked out. Yeah. Oh, no, the daughter. Or, oh, dang the, daughter. It, the sister. Yeah. Sister. Oh, sister. sister. Yeah, the sister right. of the king was kicked out and uh, would live in the woods. But that could be the same thing. Could it? That would be too weird. Right. And it's very, very much a back alley type of rumor. The, there is there is no sister, according to public knowledge. I mean, the scandal is. Oh, this is like a jilted sister? It's like, like there is none. There's no, I mean, no, there's no record of there being any sister. He's the only born from his father, um, Quillian. But yeah, there's just that crazy rumor and maybe something, I don't know. Um, so, but yeah, that's, that's what you know, or what you suspect or wonder. What are you guys gonna do? Uh, Follow the lights and not get eaten. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for like not getting everybody killed. Like I kind of feel good about myself right now. I got this vacation. I'm trying to be all positive and everything. And I'm thinking I don't want to see Doberton die. All right, sounds good. Um, so there's the the path of water that's going out that the lights kind of illuminated. And is that the direction you go? Is it kind of like landing strip lights that like flash down <laughs> in the direction? Sure. Like, yeah, they quit though. They're done now. So if you don't remember which way they were uh, no, indicating, no. it's uh, it's too bad. <sighs> is it that way then, uh, yeah. you're following yeah. a, a shallow creek. Um, are, what, point of clarity, are we outside of the smell? Right, so I was just going to say that next. You are oh, getting, okay. you're getting away from the the more rotten smelling boggy area um but it's still kind of going you're going downstream so you're not going to be completely free of it as far as you would guess uh anytime soon um there's also you know less and less of kind of the mushroom thing going on as you as you go further down and it's getting darker and darker um not it's already past dark but i mean you don't have the illumination of the various lights and mushrooms and stuff the tree cover's thick enough. You're not getting much moon either. Uh, it, yeah, no, he'll he'll, uh, he'll cast some floating light motes uh, to illuminate their path. So they don't have to charge through the um, forest blind. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, and is that is that light enough for for everyone? Like, what's the? Rate? Yeah, it's not like it's not like a bright torch light. It's just like a few floating light motes enough so that like that are they're like green and they're very low to the ground, just so you can see what you're stepping on, basically. Okay. All righty. Um, as you follow the creek, uh, you do hear the the op common forest nighttime sounds, the cicadas and crickets. Um, occasionally a, a big frog jumps into the water in front of you and if, if you're prone to being startled, it'll happen. Um, 
and you're you're walking along this as as the as you go further the water is cutting into the earth a little bit so you've got a little kind of banks on both sides of you still mm -hmm. the water's not so deep that it's any kind of an issue you're um it's still rough terrain which pretty much everything has been since you got off the road as you as you are walking along this creek do you guys have anything you want me to know about how you're doing it um dobley would definitely have his shield out and his sword out in hand at this point just things been a little creepy since the tree crit lady tried to or threatened us to eat us okay so. if i see dolby pull out his sword ten's definitely pulling out his sword because he doesn't want to look weird next to dolby without a sword out yeah okay I mean, are just we trying to be stealthy at all like trying to be quiet right so give me a, a stealth roll whoever's doing that we all, all as a party um i just whoever's doing it if you're not being stealthy then you, you're gonna not be stealthy but um jess could i mean ivy could easily be with you guys and still be stealthy and kind of uh yeah that's fine you know what i mean yeah I'm a, I'm a little bit of a brute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So did you roll? I should look at the thing. Work. All right. Um, uh, and okay. Rolls are not are not favoring us tonight. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You're still quiet enough. You think you're being quiet. Um, and, and you continue to move down this. The creek turns. There's a bend to the right up ahead, and where that bend is. There's a large overhanging rock, so it's like the, the water is kind of cut out underneath this rock. Um, and you guys continue walking unless anyone says anything. Mm -hmm. Didn't she say something about a rock, an unnatural rock or something? Oh, yeah. It was uh, a rock not formed by nature or something like that. Right. Oh, wait, I don't have the things in my nose anymore. Oh, yeah. Is rock not formed by nature or something like that? Yeah. So that's, not how, that's not how rocks work. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might mean a carving, like a carved piece of stone. Right, statue or something. Yeah. Or like a road sign or I don't know, something. Uh, I've, I, know, I know nothing of the sort. All right. Can I get passive perception rolls from everybody? On what's, what order are you guys walking? Uh, passive or a passive perception or a perception roll? Um, don't you... Passive roll? perception is 10 plus your perception bonus. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're... Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. I'll roll. <laughs> so what is your passive perception? Everybody can tell me. 14. 14. 13. All right, as you guys approach this large rock, you see uh, uh, the water is disturbed below it, um, where the water kind of cuts underneath it. And you see a shadow under there that is uh, significantly not part of the rock, but you can't really tell what it is from this point. Something look off to you about that? Yes. Wait. All right. I feel so tell me again about your lights are they are they enough light that you could be used in uh an uh, encounter <laughs> what do you mean uh no they are so they again they're not they're not like it's not like a light spell it's not like torch light it's not like uh torch lights like 40 feet of uh of bright light it's literally just uh just dim illumination uh, so you can see kind of what you're walking in so you don't bump into stuff. Um, but it's not like it wouldn't be enough that like from a from f a distance you would see it like firelight or something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I think then, yeah, if you're not within five feet of uh, Fern, you're going to be at disadvantage for some things because I think there's just, it sounds to me the way the way I envision it, 
um, it's going to be really hard to shoot at something, for example, or or whatever. So, um, well, yeah, I mean, they're they're welcome to if they have torchlight or anything, they're welcome to do that. This is Fern has a very old. He has very sensitive eyes, uh, so he, yeah. Uh, well. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a bit more light than that when you first described it. I would have like a, a candle or something. I'm trying to think of something dauber sized that would be torch like, a little candle. Yeah, yeah, cam candle like um, sized torch. So yeah, okay. There we go. We'll go with that. You guys have a torch now. <laughs> <sighs> I shall be a huh. torch bearer. All right. Very good. Um, so would I be would I be leading the way with you then, Ten? Just uh, being. Yeah, the... I'll be right behind you. Okay. <laughs> like you're kind of like over my shoulder with the light. Yeah, that very works for me. Beautiful. Cool. Um, very good. So what Step happens? On my shield. Yeah. Uh, that the, <laughs> the light is shining just enough under that rock that you can see that there is a large sort of serpent shaped creature under it. And, and large, very, very large compared to a dauber. Snake. Snakey uh, thing. Yeah, and it's its head. You can now you can just make out the shadow of its head under the the rock, just above the water, staring right at you. Um, I back away slowly. Back away slowly. I say. <laughs> Stay behind my shield. Stay behind my shield. All right, roll initiative. Uh oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Mm. Uh, you have to drop oh, we got in. some initiative going. Let me. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, we need to click on token, but that's alright. Uh, all right, cool. Let me just turn that on, and then where's my initiative at? It is not great. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So we've got nine, ten, nine, and. 22. Oh, wait, no, we don't have one from Borgie. No, that's her stealth. There we do. Nice. Okay. Cool. So you see the, the large uh, hind portion, if that's even how you describe a snake, um, sort of coil up, and this huge snake gets is, is just, you know, a split second from springing out of the, of, from underneath the rock. He lunges out forward, but Dolby gets to go first. All right. So, hey, guys, uh, just a bit of warning. Um, got some good news and bad news. Good news is I think I know what I'm doing. Bad news is this is the first time I've ever been in a real fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, good. We're doomed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've only done this with bops and broom handles before, so this let's hope this goes okay. And he's going to swing at him with his long sword. For a seven. Right. <laughs> nice. So even though you were a hair's second faster than the snake, um, the, the sheer size and speed of it lunging forward was just more than you could handle, and you, you swing wildly and uh, don't even make contact with the scales. Yep, oh, warm it up, warm it up. Yep. <laughs> warm it up. yep. On yeah, the other shoulders. hand, you appear to be the perfect target for him. Uh, and he just continues to go forward, biting at you. He's got- It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Awesome big uh, fangies Oops, coming sorry. out. Didn't mean to click that. <laughs> All right, somehow, by the, the last second, you get your shield up and he hits you full force into the shield. Um, his, his fangs scraping against the uh, polished, hardened wood of your dauber equipment, um, pushing you back. Not oh, bad you breath, bad breath. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, it was gross. Drooling on my shield, get off my shield, off. Yeah, he's not, he's not embedded in it or anything. He just, he, Hits it so hard that he scrapes it. Now we have um, whoever's next in the initiative, which would be Board Game Girl, then Frock, then Askrid. Okay. okay. So I'm going to attack, try to get him off your shield. 
this large snake has got particularly large plate-like scales uh, going down its back. Along two ridges on the outside, they stick up a little bit, so it's like two rows of like horn-like scales. He's got little horns that stick out the sides of his head and neck. He's really vicious looking. Rapier, we've got a roll of a 20. Nice. Nice. So that hits. We're able to, to, to stab into him with your rapier. Uh, if you click the word rapier, it'll do roll your damage. In, uh, in ch no, in chat. Yeah. Oh, okay, right there. Yeah. Boink. Sweet. All right. So you hit him. Um, you manage to, to weave in between a couple of scales and draw a little bit of blood. He hits the table with his, his mouth that's as tall as your torso. Uh, and I just said the order. Now I've already forgotten. Oh, yeah. It's up to me. Yeah. Um, I poke up from behind the shield and I go, you slovenly buzz of a muck wobbler! And I cast Vicious Mockery at him. Cool. For which I need to click on the thing. Boop. For three points of damage, and he has, needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Nice. I'll just roll a different one. Uh, DC 13? Versus a what? 13. Versus a 13? Yeah. All right, and if he succeeds, what? And if he doesn't, what? If he fails, he has disadvantage on his next uh, attack roll. Okay, so he takes the three damage regardless. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Um, he he doesn't even turn towards you, but he's still hissing it at the wall of the dogger. Okay. I uh, and then I'm gonna, as my bonus action, I'm gonna sing a little ditty to Dobly, Do, uh, Dolby. I'm gonna good enough, and, and give him initiative, or and give him advantage. Okay, is that that's uh, uh, my bar bardic inspiration, or not? I'm gonna give him inspiration, not yeah. advantage. You know what I was saying? I couldn't think of the word. Yep, yeah. sweet. I like it. What about you, Fern? Uh, first of all, give me one second here. I'm just. Uh... No, no, that's not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Um, so, uh, I, first thing I was going to do is put a, a uh, put a put a snake on the screen because we don't have one. Uh, where did I put that snake? Where did where the snake go? Friends. I don't know where the snake went. There it is. Follower. Um. Um, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. There we go. Okay, so Snake, uh, I'm going to, with them kind of stabbing at it and doing all that, uh, I am going to uh, use my... Oh, maybe I can make me do this. Um, instantaneously expand it. Um... No, that's not going to help. Uh, I'm going to cast one of my only prepared spells, which is Entangle on the snake. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to, like, as Fern kind of plants himself, his feet on the ground and slams his staff down, and he begins hissing and muttering some druidic cantrips in uh, the, the rat tongue, um, he is going to cause the vines to, like, creep down from the trees and from up from the dirt and attempt to, like, wrap around the snake and ensnare it so it can't move. Awesome. I even kind of envision the, the water that you guys are almost bubbling around it as some of them kind of... Yeah, yeah, out. it'll be like like from the, the seaweed kind of like yeah. slimy roots. Uh, okay, so he has to make a... Uh, must, must succeed a strength saving throw or be restrained. Gotcha. It doesn't do any damage, right? Uh, no, it doesn't do any damage. It is just a saving throw. Nice. Um... Uh, so this bubbling occurs. Yes, go ahead. No, no, go go ahead. We'll do it after. Yeah. yeah so the bubbling occurs. The, the the muck and seaweed from the bottom of the creek springs up and wraps around the snakes. And vines come down from trees all around him, and, and just wrap him up. And and he's literally stunned if the snake could be. You know, he was like hissing it at Ivy, the small sylvan dwarf, and then this happens and he wraps around him, and he's just literally just kind of 
twitching, trying to move, but he's completely strapped out. Okay, uh, and then um, as a uh, as a bonus action, I'm just going to use the control flame cantrip to cause uh, uh, the candle that he that he had the little torch to just yeah. glow brighter and illuminate the whole area. All right. Yeah. Great. Um, as you do that, you, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna tell you, um, Burn. You, that initial burst of light. Um, I think you would notice this because you're the one doing it. Is why I'm pointing out. Um, you see silhouettes of all the trees and stuff that are out around the area, um, and you see one particularly odd silhouette that is to your right over the tree, I mean, over the, the bank of the creek and past some trees that looks like a mushroom that's not just growing on the ground. Looks like bigger than the human or dauber sized mushroom. For what it's worth. Interesting. Okay. And uh, yeah, so now we're to Dolby. Sweet. All right. <laughs> so now taking the cues from my friends over here, I'm actually gonna hit it with something this time. Nice. You can do it, Dolby. All right, all right. Give me, give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm gonna try this one more time now. All right. So now, do I have advantage because it's uh, in, entangled? Yes. All right. Oh, sorry about that. So uh, a seven, a seven. <laughs> I don't right. know what to tell you, man. You, uh, you, you're swinging at it. You, you're just not used to fighting in water, and your boots are really heavy with the kind of soaked in the water, and you're just not, you don't got your feet right. I mean, you yeah. swung at it. it broom like handles, it. broom handles are a lot longer than swords. <laughs> yeah, right, your, your balance so, is like, off. You know, yeah, you the, follow the, clearly, but, I, I, but I'm boots. good, I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a distraction, and I'm here to protect my friends. All right. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna strike at you with Bring disadvantage. Um, I'm assuming, but you guys can correct me, that everyone else backed out of what they think is his range now that he's strapped down. But you swung at him, and so he can get to you. But still, yeah, I'd be in the five foot square right behind Dildy. Sure. Yeah, you stay right there. Like cheering so. him on. <laughs> like, um, right, yeah, like not not to back. emphasize our wonderful die rolls of the night, but the snake just rolled a two and then a three. Um, yeah, that's that's not gonna hit me. I am way too well protected for that. Yeah, so he he's like thinking about biting at you, but he just can't get his head turned right, and it's just embarrassing. Even though he's still really scary looking. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, realistically, looking at me, I'm probably like kind of like like tough to chew on. I mean, I'm probably not like I'm like not juicy in any way, shape, or form. Like, not yeah, juicy. I'm not gonna be tasty at all. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't bite me either. Right, Ivy. All right, I'm up. All right, so your rapier strike, uh, 16 does hit, um, and it's a pretty firm strike, getting him with five more damage. Can you describe a little bit what you're doing so we so we can visualize how you attack him? All right, so I'm staying back, and I just uh, kind of lunged forward to try to hit him after Dalby's hit. All right, yeah, great. To be clear, I have not hit yet. <laughs> well, yeah. Attempt. Attempt to hit. Nice. No. Infern, he can can he do a strength check every turn, or how does that work? I will. T uh, let me check in one second. Uh, I was just putting tokens on the the screen. Um, do, 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 do. A creature in the area is restrained. Uh, can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. On a success, it frees itself. Okay, he uses his action. Okay, so his yeah. last action was to attack. So, okay. Um, so that I think is ten. Yeah, I step up from behind Dolby and I put my hands together and I say, Thunder, Thunder, come over yonder, come listen on what I ponder with fiery explosions and flashes of light, time and space, you thunder. And I cast Thunder Wave. That is awesome. That is so good. <laughs> you have a bard. Right. Doop. Work. Clicking on thing. Work. Oh, no, not with it. Oh, casting at level one. Yes, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, a wave of thunderous force. Uh, so he needs to make a constitution saving throw. Nice. All right. And if he doesn't, he's pushed in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he uh, it, 
you can see the muscles in his snake body kind of coil up and he tends to do this thunder way it hits him. He just looks you square in the face and I duck back behind the shield. <laughs> he still takes his damage though, which is yeah. is it half of the two D eight then? Uh yeah, it's gonna be three. Okay. Three. And Fern. Uh, Fern doesn't have a whole lot. Uh, oh, did he free himself successfully? Nope. Nope. So that is oh, nice. s- still going. Um, then I don't actually. No one's hurt, right? No, no one's been hit. Okay. Then Fern doesn't but have the much. Lines were... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fern, Fern doesn't have much else that he can do because uh, he doesn't have a lot of spells this level. Uh, right. So I guess, uh, but I, I do have a bunch of no, I don't have prepared cantrips. So I guess he's just gonna like as like do his best to kind of like stab at the thing with his quarter. He's just gonna make a quarter staff attack. He doesn't have anything else right now. All right. Uh, so this is just a straight up quarter staff attack, uh, which is a four. But I, I guess I have advantage against him, which right. would be a fifteen. Okay. Yeah, you feel like you make a pretty solid hit into the scales. So a little bit. Whack him with the. Uh... I'm totally demoralized right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, four bludgeoning damage. Good. All right. Um. So he, he even like closes his eyes and pulls his head back a little bit after that. Um. Dolby. I feel like I need counseling right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, I, I like give you a little massage on the shoulders. Right, I'm like, right, you know, right. you got this. You just got okay. to it up. Give him inspiration. Right. You got, right. Give him that inspiration. He has inspiration. Right. Oh, yeah. seven last time. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad last time. Even inspiration yeah. or not, I was. Pissed oh wait, so you've got you've got triple advantage. Yeah, I need all the help I can get. If that's the way we're playing it, I'm good to go. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Do right. it. So like like this way, right? Kind of like this. Yeah, yeah right. you just get, get in there with it. Just all right, here I go. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it! You, oh, you oh, did you it! Did it's it. a net 20! It. It's a net 20! I did it. It's not a net. It is a net because he has oh, advantage. advantage. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, let's roll it. Get those 20s in chat. Alright. Nice. see it. Was that yeah. 11? Uh, 4 plus 7, yeah. 11 damage. 11 damage. And you get I your... got it! I, guys, I hit him! I hit well done, dude! Oh wow! <laughs> is the the plus seven is your strength, right? No, no, it's a crit, so it rolls the die the dice twice. Yeah, right. Um, but so is that is no. Oh, so if you look at it, it's no, no. Two, two is his first one. Two is yeah. his strength oh. bonus. The seven is the second d8. Yeah, gotcha. he just nearly right. maxed it out. You know, whatevs. Yeah. Okay, eleven. Like, okay, I told you so... I'm good at moving stuff. I just gotta actually hit it. <sighs> yeah. Um, so after he, he recoils with a, with a surprisingly firm strike from the quarterstaff. He was surprisingly firm. Sorry, I couldn't Completely uh, <laughs> left himself open, and you, you bring your sword up under his chin and make a huge gash right by his jawline. And Oh my god, oh, 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 no! <laughs> <Pour it out. laughs> oh, I, I didn't know it was going to do that! <laughs> what did you think it was going to do? <laughs> I've never hit anything. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's not a pinata. Yeah, we'll <laughs> through this together. It'll be fun. wildly in the vines, and it's going to use its uh, action to try to. to okay. Play. And it it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Um, so it's just flailing there now. It's yeah. Every direction it can. Um, you know, it's it's a wounded animal. You can tell it's no longer hunting. It's it's panicking yeah i mean yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh ken's turn or no it's uh it's ivy's turn okay so i get to hit it again this thing is still alive like just like i did <sighs> no no no, no <laughs> not just like, you did. like the first all right wait wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh you got it uh, oh yeah. Yeah. it doesn't matter at least yeah, so i mean even with uh, <laughs> it's just flailing so much that it almost dis uh, uh, interrupts your flow of, of your attack. Um, I mean, and it's big and it's scary, so you just don't, you can't make a solid uh, stance for your attack. Ten. All right, so I see you just kind of stab it, right? So I pull out my wooden 
rapier, and I kind of step around the shield again, and I try to stab at it. Yeah. All right. Where's my rapier? There it is. Uh, uh, with advantage, right? I'm, I'm an expert yeah. now. I'm hitting it one time. I got Boop. it. 13. Yeah, 13. So you, you, you hit it fairly solidly, but you still glance off one of the thicker scales. <laughs> Oh, almost. Uh, and with my bonus action, I'll be like, Fern, don't worry. You got, not Fern, I'm sorry. Ivy, you got this. You're going to do it next time. You're going to get it right in there. And you're just going to be able to draw a lot of blood. It's going to be great. You'll take him down. I would like to give you an inspiration. There you go. Triple advantage. And then I, uh, uh, I dip back it's, behind inspiration, the shield. Inspiration is, a, is an extra D8, right? Uh, D6 right now for me. Oh, okay. D6. Yeah. Yeah. So you get... So yeah, on any one action that you choose, you can add a d6 after you roll the die, but yeah, the, before the, the GM tells you, it succeeds. There's a difference generally, I, I, I believe there's a mechanical distinction between inspiration and bardic inspiration. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's weird, but, but this is bardic inspiration. Great! It gets better. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, all right. What are you going to do, my friend, Fern? Um... F Fern will kind of, kind of like j w walk around and see this animal kind of thrashing in pain, um, uh, and he'll kind of, kind of stand over. Now I, I'm, I'm just looking at my skill list real, real quick here. Um, I don't know if I can splash, splash. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have speak with animals right now. Uh, so I can't tell this guy, hey man, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> so. Unless you're going to do that with your staff. Did anybody have an animal animal handling? Anybody? As a, as a skill? As a, a proficiency? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Somebody just called it Ivy. I mean, My she cat. may not be on the same page as Fern, but. <laughs> uh, uh alright. down now. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to smack him in the head with it with a quarter staff and see what that does. Uh 11. Right. Bonk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just... Lance off his his scales again. Um he's he's suddenly tougher than he was before <laughs> even though he's down to very few. <laughs> um Toby. All right. So now that I'm a complete expert in swinging this sword. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again, and I believe this. I got advantage again because he's still entangled. Yeah, he's still entangled. He he's rolling. Twenty-two. Super awesome. You got him yeah. now, buddy. You got yeah. it now. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. I, like, yeah, I, I think I got the hang of this. I, I think I got it. So nice. That is three. Three. I mean, right. you got it. All right. So you you cut him again. Um, you know, you can tell. Um, even without any experience in actual combat, that um, he's he's within uh, a few more strikes of uh, of laying down, but he's entangled. He's threatened. He's still gonna keep fighting. He's gonna okay, bite at you. He's not gonna try to get out of this because yeah, come get them. It feels like that's a better action for him. You know, he's just working on feeling. Uh, he's better have my shield than I am with my sword though. Okay, and he rolled a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Get stuff. Well, the snake. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, he, he, he he turns to, to to bite at you, and there's like a vine that's like reaching around in this way, and he turns and he just basically bites the vine. And he's like, ah! Like, oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I mean, All right. We're doing this, guys. Right. We're doing this a thing. I'm gonna jump gonna back happen. in. I have inspiration now, so I'm gonna see what oh, I yeah. can do. There you go. So, uh, you can add, yeah, you can also add your inspiration dice if you want, or keep it. Yeah, why don't you keep it? I mean, I think oh, okay. you, at, at this point, everyone knows his, his AC is someplace between 13 and 16. So, um, yeah, so you, you come in with another solid blow with your rapier. Yeah, good. Nice, nice. Yeah. And you draw it out. We keep and... doing this, it'll be about another hour. We got it. <laughs> he's shaking and, and, and collapses and his head hits the water and it splashes out around him and then it sinks below the surface and Ivy stands there, the smallest of four of you. Ivy! Uh, woo! <laughs> right, and I gotta loosen the jar lid first. 
and then you pop it up. Uh, was that a snake? <laughs> yes, that was a snake. And we just killed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, did you see it when I was like the thing? And then you did the this thing. This is so good. Like, you guys were so amazing. Both of you were like so awesome. Name. And then, it, like, was that, I did, I called it a name. And then it, it looked like, like a little oh. sad afterwards. And I was very yeah. impressed. By... <laughs> did you see his jaw? It was like, ah. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was just going to bite your head off with it. Yeah. And I was like, clutch, no the, the wrapping it and stuff was clutch. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> its head twitches a little bit right next to your foot, Fennin. Um, my, can my, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, Fer, I stab it. Fern is gonna, Fern is gonna, t- is gonna take his his quarter staff and just like take the tip of his quarter staff and just like hold it to uh, the little candle, and so he can get a little bit of fire on the end of his staff too to kind of make some more light. And he's like, it's not as safe as I thought it was. Someone threatened to kill us back there. Yeah, and like then this. Safety, I don't think, is in the car. Do you think those two things were connected? I do. Factually. Uh, I think bad things are going to happen to us. suspicious that this was a uh, a natural predator in the area. Um, why it was here and all that stuff is, is yeah. you know. Uh, but. You said there was up the bank a little bit, there was a giant mushroom, right? That you saw because yeah you were you were looking around when you lit the light. light. Yeah, then then uh, uh, Fern would probably be like, probably like just walk a little bit to, with his light to try and see if that's still there or like what's going on with it. Okay, so you guys see Fern not following the flowing water, but buddy, going toward the hey, bank. Wait, what about the thing with the tr- the killer? Tree hey, that- buddy, wait, what? where are you going? Uh, no, no, there's a, there's a thing over here. I wanted it's to see a, what it was. It's just a oh. snake. It's dead. Really? Okay. No, 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 not the snake. There's there's a mushroom here, and I, I need to I need to investigate it. It's not natural. It's like all over your back. What do you need any more for? <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So what is what's the mechanic or the role for like a surprise? Is it? Um, what do you mean? I the the person being surprised. Oh, so the way you the, just don't get to attack on the first if, round. If of you get if you, if you get ambushed, if you get ambushed, they get a they get a surprise round in which the person being surprised doesn't get to do anything. Right, but the the surprise is is a roll versus the passive perception. You you yes. you yeah. Generally, you can. Uh, I mean, if if I'm if you can, it's up to you how you wanna how you wanna roll uh, handle it. Okay, so you you come up the bank and. Um, the light, that, that big burst of light has, maybe it's it's still there, but... The, it lasts an hour, the the, oh, the expanded yeah, torchlight. It's light. still super bright, but the the exact location where you saw that silhouette before is no longer there, but you're walking toward it. As you get up over the the part where the creek is dug out, there's like this little bank, you get yeah. up over, kind of pushing through a couple branches and some bushes and stuff like that, and you see this huge... A new um, follower. Four foot tall mushroom. And it's got arms and legs, and uh, it's a great big head like thing that kind of looks like a. a new follower. Uh, like the, the mushroom cap kind of looks like a big, ridiculous umbrella kind of hat. Um, and you surprise it. <laughs> so it's like. And it tries D- to. Does it back. clearly have a face? Um. It, it would be something you could interpret as a face. There's like some glassy orbs that are on the stock <laughs> just below the. Okay. Glassy the orbs. Um, but but it clearly has arms and legs and stuff, right? Yeah, and it, it, it's like trying to back around behind this tree because it, it was, uh, it didn't know you were coming this way. Yeah. Hello. Who are you? It just stands still. Like it now, I mean, the arms have gone down and it just stands there. Would you like a mushroom? Would that be cannibalism? (laughs) (laughs) I think that would be cannibalism. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I mean, if it, if it doesn't look like it's hostile, like he probably would just. Oh, God, we're rolling initiative. No, you're rolling initiative. (laughs) Oh, it's fucking hostile, no. Rip. We don't, we 
are never gonna learn. Right. <laughs> oh. And I'm just saying Fern though. Unless you guys oh. unless you oh, okay. okay, yeah, no, me I'll oh, face I off against this mushroom. Follow up, I was gonna follow behind him. <laughs> okay. Because I saw him wandering off on his own and that seems unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, yeah. I by the way, I I you guys should you guys should know that, that Fern has a horrible charisma. <laughs> he is miserable with other people. No. Uh, so yeah, I got a 19. Okay. Um, so the, the mushroom creature had basically dropped its arms and was mm -hmm. trying to stand there like... Like it was... Like, like a mushroom, yeah. But I yeah. clearly... I, cl I see through his disguise, his clever disguise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you you reach out for him with your mushroom, and then you see him him jolt like he's he's gonna take action, and then you go and he'll be next. Like you had a nineteen, right? Yeah. Okay, an eighteen. Um. Okay. Right. Uh. Well, in that case, if he's gonna if he's gonna like l like l if I see he's about to lunge, can I like no back and like jab my staff with the fire on the end of it like at him? <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Um, I, you know what? Here's the thing. I will allow you to decide whether or not, because at this point he hasn't physically attacked. So, um, is it possible for me to do to to jab at him, not to physically hit him, but just to keep him back? Um. Yes. Yeah. You you can do that. Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would just be not not to do any damage. What you're trying to do is basically well, block him. Yeah, I mean, it, it's up it's up to you whether that, whether that would physically be like an intimidation check, which would also be crap for me. But uh, or if it would be an attack roll, you know, whatever. How, however, you want to handle it. Okay. Well, the way I was interpreting it is basically you were going to hold your attack until he attack yeah I'm, i mean i'm not physically striking him i'm just trying to keep him back so if he looks like he's gonna attack sure bonk him on the head with the the, the quarter staff okay all right um so that's what you do and um so when he when he jolts then now on his turn you're ready to block him mm -hmm. uh he uh kind of doesn't actually like you thought maybe he was Pulling back to swing, but what he does is kind of pulls back, and then little slits on the uh, on the other side of his cap poof out spores. So can I get a Constitution saving throw? Yeah, sure, you can. Absolutely, <laughs> I got a thirteen. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, <laughs> it, who else is is in range? I think it's probably just me. Everyone else is probably back a bit. Okay, yeah, but it's a, it's just a little nearby poof, uh, ten foot range. So we'll say everybody's really close, but not close enough. And uh, you're 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 paralyzed. You can't move. And he uh, takes off running. Now it's uh, Rock's turn. Away from us. Away. Uh, okay. Um, well, if he's running away. I don't think we need to fight more. So I, I'm just going to come up to, to Fern and try and like shake him out of being paralyzed. I'm just, wake up! Put the candle back! <laughs> I, I'm, 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just, your muscles have tensed up and it's like you're having a, a, a neur, uh, neurological... Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's just like stuck there with his staff like, hey, help! Hey. Yeah, I try to shake him out of it. I don't know how this the works. Trees, like, or the, the, you know, the legs of this mushroom are just... He's actually surprisingly nimble as he just sort of walks or sprints, bounds through the forest. I think he squirted a musk of fear and he's running away. So, uh... Get with it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else doing anything? <laughs> I, I just... I would just say walking up, walking up, staying out of the cloud, just... Yeah. Completely. What? What? What's got? Wait, wait. I mean, what what, what, what? what was that? Looked like a mushroom. <laughs> Looked like a giant walking mushroom. Yes. Like, what, I, mean, I mean, is that what I'm looking at? Right. Well, not anymore. Yes. Right. Wait. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay. 
I, yeah. does, does the but, does the paralysis wear off at all, or does yeah, it? Just... Well, I, I, I was giving everybody a chance if they were going to say anything or do anything. Yeah, I, it wears off in um, three turns. We're like poking that, them. Okay, it's so, like yeah, it's like. I will be shaking seconds. him for all three turns to try and get him to wear off. <laughs> right, it's only fifteen seconds, right? Yeah. What's wrong yeah. with the rat? I don't know. I think I fixed him though. We're working now. <laughs> 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 it, 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 it fixed it. It, it sprayed good. me. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, there's walking. Do you know about? You have mushrooms. Do you know about walking mushrooms? Is this a new thing to you, or is this like uh, you should have told us about this before? I saw them once, but that was a long time ago when I was trying this new type of mushroom that I found, and they all began to get up and walk around. But that <laughs> only happened the once. <laughs> they weren't that big either. Yeah, that was weird. So, um, should we follow that thing? Sh yeah, I don't know what to do now. Room? Or should we go back to the river? I vote river. I feel like attacking walking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Fern, 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 will, Fern will kind of like look longingly into the forest. He's kind of a bit dejected that he didn't get to make friends with a mushroom. Uh, oh. but, but he will. He so he will kind of walk dejectedly back to the river, and you know, <laughs> the rest of the group we keep moving until the night. Don't worry, Whiskers. There'll be other mushrooms. <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you guys get back to the river or whoever's going. Do I have a confirmation everybody's head that way? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and uh, you get the, the creek. The snake's still there, wrapped in vines. The vines have loosened their grip because they've just got nothing really to grip onto anymore. And it is uh, just lifelessly sitting in the mud. It's blood flowing down the creek. Poor snake. Mm. Yeah. All right. I don't like snakes. So you're going to continue <laughs> following the creek? I feel like the D and D player in me goes, I need to check it for loot. But I feel like I would not check it for loot. So I'm not gonna check it for loot. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think we I don't think we need to harvest the snake. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Alright. Maybe he's gonna uh, want one of gems or something underneath it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I mean, if you guys don't look, there's nothing to see. Um, there is someone saying check for loot in chat, though. Yeah, chat's telling us to check for loot. <laughs> <laughs> do we listen to chat? Is that what we do? I know that person. He's pretty smart. <laughs> I, I loot one snake. I'm going to put that on my inventory. One <laughs> snake. Right, you don't have a bag big enough for this snake. Um, as you go by, you do notice there is a, a kind of a burrow underneath the rock that's just up above the water line. So the rock sticks out here, the water lines here. Don't, don't, of, don't look in it. Don't look in the burrow. That's probably where um, the snake babies are. <laughs> your your overly natural or un unnaturally overbright lantern or torch does shine some light back there enough to see uh, bones of other creatures birds and things uh most likely from <laughs> well i mean they, they, right. they, they just now i'm interested birds. i mean we say birds obviously yeah let's go check it out okay okay that's all that's in there i mean it's just a little oh. yeah Sorry. that was anticlimactic <laughs> I, was <laughs> right. to, I told you not to i told you not to look in there <laughs> like it's obviously just the nest or a burrow rather um okay Fourth. Well, the water keeps flowing, and um, maybe you guys follow it. Um, onward you go. Who's in front? Uh, the, the one with the, the light or the sword? One of the two. Okay. I'll go with my shield forward, like a train. <laughs> cool. that what's a, what's a train? <laughs> it's a, he's, he's a dimensional traveler. Um, he, as you walk down the creek, this, this torch light is shining, you know, out into the woods. The limbs are casting odd shadows out there. It's, it's getting fairly creepy. And now every splash, every ripple in the water reminds you of the giant snake. Um, also there's a strange, you know, well, not strange, an obvious 
lack of being able to see where the big dauber shield cast a shadow with the light being behind it i'm like all up over him man yeah i'm, like, like, right over my yeah. Shoulder. I'm like, being hilarious like, 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 yeah. like scooby-doo like when they're creeping around yeah. the corner like yeah. right up on top of each other <laughs> yep <laughs> um you continue to move and then you come to a place where the water broadens out just a little bit and it's moving exceptionally slow um the, the the smell of the bog from before you can get it just a very faint whiff of it with this slower moving water um and it seems likely that it's just run off from a, upstream um the stream does part here one to the left and one to the right i look for a stone you don't see any stones that look like that stone's different from from any of the other stones that are found in this creek there's there's been lots of smooth uh you know river stone and whatnot um there is a kind of interesting uh tree though over the one that goes to the right um it appears to actually straddle the creek like the the creek has um pushed or you know goes under the tree it's got a an opening Uh, does this look, I mean, is this, does this look unnatural in any way? Um, or is this just like, it just happened to like the trees just kind of ra roots are raised a little bit. Do you go and examine it? Yeah. Know? I mean, if the, if we're at this, at this crossing, we don't really know which going to go. Fern knows, is all, he knows a lot about nature. So he would definitely, you know, take a few steps over to look, to inspect it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look unnatural, um, but it does not look like it grew that way. So um, the the water that's flowing here affected its its growth, so that it's it's got this hole in it. Right? Can I? Can, is it just like just narrow enough for the water to go through? Or is it like a like a tunnel that I can physically see through? You can see through it. I mean, and you could kind of even. Yeah. Yeah warm your way through it whoa yeah really slow there <laughs> maybe that's just me <laughs> no i heard it too yeah, yeah it was yeah, really funny it's, it's all of a sudden slow motion mode are you so alright daryl <laughs> alright so what's it i'm fine everybody seems fine on my end okay it, it, for a second I, you went slow I, motion really i have no lag on this side so alright yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, uh, he'll, like, he'll kind of, like, well, over here, as I'm looking at something, uh, and then he'll probably, like, get down on his, ha on his hands and just kind of peek his head, like, try and crawl through or peek his head through, just to see if the other side is unobstructed, or honestly, if he doesn't probably have to crawl through, he could probably just, like, literally walk around the tree and see what's on the other side. I was gonna say walk around. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't need to crawl. Sure. Yeah, so it's, it's not... Yeah. Too terribly difficult to work your way around the tree. I mean, there's still the edge of the bank and other uh, things that would obstruct your movement, but they're not abnormal. So you make your way around, and the creek continues on that direction. What was the what was the thing that the creepy lady said about the uh, about the river and the rock and uh, you know all the things that she was saying? Uh, let me hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna try and remember this. Don't tell me. Um, follow the, the, the was something about the water carved through or the carves its way through wood. And it sounds I remember that. That sounds about right. Oh yeah, nailed it. Yeah, yeah and then we come to a ma unnatural rock. A natural rock, and then there's something about a uh, amber with a glowing heart and twins and Starfather align. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not that's not important. But this no, this I this part clearly is important. What <laughs> <laughs> about the rock? Oh, this is the, oh yeah, well you mean, you're saying that this is the, with the, through the wood? Yes! Oh, literally through uh. the wood! Oh! Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, so that's clearly the right way. You're I a can, good one. I told you I had this. You did! <laughs> very good, very good. We should consult you more often. <laughs> I'm completely glad I thought about this all by myself. How <laughs> late is it getting? Should we crash out or something? Like, DM? 
Is it like late? Are we tired? I, I assume it's answer. it's been the middle of the night, as far as I know. Yeah, right. it is. It is uh, very close to the middle of the night at this point. You've been traveling for a few hours. You arrived at the uh, the ball in the at the at dusk. So I'm kind of guess what? We have to solve this by the daytime. She did. Did she give us a time frame? Are we um, yeah, are we on the clock like, here? Yeah, I think we're on the clock. Like I'm on yeah. vacation. Oh really? But I'm on the clock even when I'm on vacation. Oh, oh. I kind of want to nap out. Okay. Yeah, I don't right, like being on do a it. schedule. I don't like being on a schedule when I'm on vacation. I don't like being on a schedule either. It's it's right. not what I. I'm an artist. Like I just want to relax. No schedules well. for me. Like you know, sometimes I want to sit by the beach, but you know. Yeah. We did we did skip over this, um, but if uh, again ten wants to roll a history, we can do that. You don't really history. It's sort of just coming up now, so maybe your character's got another random thought in the back of his head. Random thought. Do I have a random thought? I don't. I might. I might have a random thought yeah, in the back good. of my head. I rolled a 16. Yeah, again from uh, Dauberton, from the capital, um, there's this kind of secondary holiday follows the Harvest Fest um, in a similar fashion that Christmas and New Year's works for, you know, Americans. Um, and it's the the alignment of the, the the three stars. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. And when does so that happen? Big, but it's not like a super big holiday, but but you would know about it if you're from downtown. And how? Yeah, yeah. How close are we to that actually being? Is that tonight? No, it's it's a few days away. And uh, if you study the stars, we can you can figure out when it would be. There's like I would like to study the stars. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, three days old. Oh, okay. Yeah, so guys, I actually think we have a little more time than you think we might have. Um, so the last thing that she said was when the twins and the Starfather align, and that means that's like three days from now because there's like a little festival that happens. When that happens, it's like the if you're really hungover from the Harvest Fest, you get another right. chance to like, yeah. But what if we so get there? What like if we get there? Days. What if we get there early? I'm just saying I'm feeling nappy. Right. It's late, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird not being a player. I want to, like, jump into the conversation. <laughs> uh, hmm, well, uh, I can I can make you something that would, might, might give you a bit of energy. Like an energy drink? <laughs> <laughs> like, a dr like a drink that gives me energy? No, I'm not trying to keep it What? Room. What? No, no, no. Not, not like no. a Not a drink. It's, it's oh, a, okay. It, it's a mushroom. I know. <laughs> I, I'll pass. If everyone else wants to keep going, I'll go. But I feel like we we have a little extra time. Is all. It's not like morning. It's like oh, oh we have now. we have extra time. Oh, in that case, yes. By, oh yes, no now nap time. Yeah, we've got like three days. Yeah, oh, <laughs> nap time. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> You guys did, uh, unless you were just talking too loud. Uh, I'll say Ivy did heard, heard a wolf or something off in the distance. So you guys are gonna take a nap? Are you gonna? <laughs> well, I nap? mean, I, I mean, I. Are you gonna make? <laughs> I. I don't know if you guys know this, but you will after you will in a second. Um, one of my my known spells is uh, create bonfire. Oh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So yeah, at a moment's notice, five foot five foot bonfire ready to go. And he, no, oh, I'm not now, but whenever oh. you guys need it. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I, was I thought like, you mean now, now. You gotta give a guy a warning. I mean, it's like already, no, you turn around, it's already done. It's like, hey, <laughs> I did this. No, it's, I, I can, whenever, whenever you want. So what are you guys doing? Move it forward. I, I didn't hear the wolf, right? Because I was being mouthy. No, we were yeah, talking. Were. We didn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, there's been, I can hear a wolf. There's wolves in the distance. There's been a development. <laughs> it's a plot twist. I mean, but in, in all fairness, this is the forest. This is your the further south you go, the wilder it gets, and that's normal right. common knowledge. Like we're like bite-sized snacks. For I, do, are we do you really think to sleep here and wait for the wolves to come get us? Do you think we need brighter fire? Brighter fire. Bigger is better. 
Would I will uh, keep wolves away. I don't really have any experience with wolves other than I, they eat things. I can I can use I can use my cantrip uh, to create up to three bright fire uh, bright torches. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like three double bright torches, and I can give those to people. Like, clearly that's not going to draw any attention to us. Yeah. No. no, no. no like be a beacon. Time. Okay, so you want to, you want to, no fire, no fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we keep going for a couple hours and maybe get away from the wolves? I think that's Oh, now you want to go. Well, wolves. Yeah, I mean, you know. I, mean uh, I mean, Ivy, clearly, uh, you, you, they're in the distance. Um, you're going toward it, though. I mean, but not directly. It's not like they're your destination, but keeping going for a couple hours with the idea that you're getting away from them is is a fallacy. You can tell them or you cannot. Okay, so they're coming from the direction we want to head, these wolves. So we go to the other direction. No. <laughs> That's the way we came. That's the way we came. That's not going to help. Oh. So I, I feel like we should probably camp here because the longer we go, the more tired we're going to get and the less capable we'll be and, to fight things. And also the closer to the wolves. And yes, and also the closer to the wolves, which sounds worse. So we are as far away from the wolves as we will ever be <laughs> at this point. Yes. yes. All right. So maybe that bonfire then. <laughs> Okay, let me get out of the way. <laughs> this is just right where you're standing. <laughs> Fire. No, it takes it, it takes a minute. So he's just sitting there, like he, he, if if you guys want to set up want to set up a camp, yeah, he can take he can do his. It's a ritual spell, so he can spend a minute cast as a ritual. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and I'm you know, genuinely, I'm not trying to steer you guys away from from camping or to make a camp. I just no, you know, we we we're sold. That's not the direction you want to go. Then if the DM right says right. camp, we will camp. That's I what I hear. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking watch, or you guys do anything like that? I watch. We should Are, probably is, take. Isn't that what you do for a living? <laughs> right. I mean, like I am on vacation, but it's kind of like my role in life. <laughs> actually, actually, I have to be honest with you guys. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard for me to share with you. I, uh, I held a broom for the last year. Like, it, it, like a early. whole year, just one broom? <laughs> <laughs> it alternated between brooms and sometimes mops, you know, cloths and sponges and the little feather thingies. <laughs> yeah, um, well, and like back in the fight earlier today, I. I had to center myself to actually think of how to actually hit it. And <laughs> I actually imagined that I had a broom and it was a pile of dust. Dolby, Dolby, look at me. Look at me here. Yeah. You stabbed the crap out of that thing. Yeah, you, you did I, great. I mean, I, maybe in the past you were a broom holder, but now you're totally a sword holder. You you, you <laughs> helped Ivy kill that thing. I mean, Ivy, Ivy killed it, but you were a huge help. <laughs> It was still all her, but you did something. <laughs> I, mean, I you were there. <laughs> I mean, you stabbed the crap out of it. I saw you. It was great. Yeah, I, I was imagining I was using my shield as a dust pan, and I was scooping it up with the broom. I mean, that's right. actually so you whatever guys, you gotta focus having, on. It seems to be working. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Having this conversation while you're setting I'll up, watch. You, you're pushing some. Uh, sticks out of the way you know you're making a spot for the bonfire maybe you're getting out your provisions whatever you're going to snack on tonight some cheese and and uh, uh acorns or something like that and uh so but the conversation is kind of going through this whole activity um can somebody roll a d12 for me you can just you know do the type and roll d12 thing got it Eight. Sweet. All right. And you guys, uh, whoever's sleeping, drift off to sleep peacefully. Are you guys going to switch out on uh, watches or anything like that? Yeah, if we do two hours each, everyone will get their six, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll switch and I'll, uh, after the first watch is over, if nothing happens, I'll uh, wake up ten. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll take a second. Okay. Cool. Fern will probably, Fern will probably, will probably 
uh, sit up at the fire, kind of mixing some, grinding up some some mushrooms and roots and stuff, okay. making some little poultices. Very good. So yeah, um, you guys switch out your watches. Um, does anybody else have any other actions that they're going to do during the the night or before they go to bed or after they wake up or anything you want to note at this time? No, not really. Good. Okay, cool. So um, you make it through the night uneventfully. Um, there's there's no indication that, that even uh, any, any predators or whatever were in the area uh, that you guys know of. So uh, the morning comes, the birds are singing, the, the ground, everything around you looks dramatically different, but not literally different. You know what I mean? It's just that effect. You, you came to an area in the dark, so when you see it in the light, it looks different. Um, and it is approaching our three hour time. Ask Grant, are we going to keep going? Not a different one. Eleven. Uh, no, I mean, we're, we're coming up on 11 o'clock. So I think if you want to, if you want to call it there, uh, as we, we wake up in the morning on this trail, uh, getting ready to pick it up. That's, that seems just fine to me. All right. All right, cool. So, um, you guys did great. I think, I think we did, we had a lot of fun kind of figuring out what we were going to try to do initially. And, uh, um, I, know, I, I had fun with it. So does anybody want to share a, uh, a moment that, that they, they enjoyed or they're looking forward to figuring out or any, I don't know, just anything that struck you as significant. You want to share that and we can kind of. Well, well let's, away. yeah, let's, let's go around to do that. So, uh, first of all, by the way, uh, since that is kind of where we're capping it off, I want to give a big thank you to everyone in chat who is hanging out with us. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys, have, by the way, you guys have had, an, there's been an amazing turnout for this game, which is awesome to me because uh, one of the things that uh, we talked about was the fact that we want to see how well you guys enjoy this show. Uh, and, and your support for it to see if we can keep keep it sticking around for more episodes. Uh, but uh, if you guys are with us, please tell us what you thought of the show in chat. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let us know what you liked, uh, you know, how it's going for you, all that good stuff. And then, yeah, why don't we go around to our cast uh, and we will have everyone uh, ask you guys to give some thoughts and opinions on today's episode. As well as you can tell everyone a, a little bit about yourself and where people can kind of find you on the internet. Um, and I guess Daryl wanted to, wanted to, uh, you wanted everyone to give like their, their favorite part? Yeah, favorite part or just something that significant that struck you sure. that you want to talk about. All right, well, why don't we start right to the, uh, to the left of me with Ms. Board Game Girl Ivy. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Uh, it's going well. You guys are hilarious. Um, my favorite part would definitely be when Fern tried to uh, feed the mushroom to the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing he knows. <laughs> cannibalism, I think, kind of freaked the mushroom out. It was good. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm Board Game Girl on all social media, and um, I'll try to be less jet lagged from uh, traveling to Germany and back uh, next time <laughs> that we get together. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do, let me, uh, do you, uh, if you have a, do you have a Twitch link or do you want me to share the, the Instagram link you can drop in chat so people can give you a follow all that? Sure. Yeah. Instagram's fine. Yep. Sure. Let me, uh, let me seek that out. Uh, awesome. Next to her, of course, we have Mr. Judo Killer. Awesome. I had a lot of fun today, guys. Uh, I think probably my favorite part, um, uh, was right when Ted and I started clicking. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it was right when we just started ripping off each other. I think it's probably to me it was the it, that's my favorite part of playing D and D is just when you're able to click with somebody and just rip off each other. So I think that was probably my favorite moment and uh, loving the game so far. Uh, I am a Judo Killer here on Twitch. I am at the Chris Herzog and all the social medias. I am a Jiu Jitsu and MMA instructor by trade and do some instructional videos that kind of stuff on there if you're interested in that kind of stuff go ahead and follow sweet yeah, all right you, too, when you guys started interacting and playing off each other was really fun come on 
Oh, yeah. Hey, Throck. Um, uh, I had a great time tonight. Uh, I have not gotten the chance to actually play in a game for a few years. I do a lot of DMing. Um, so this is, it was really great to kind of be a character and kind of sit in a different, uh, I mean, every character is a part of you, but it was cool to sit in something that was kind of fun and whimsical and over the top a little bit. Um, I, I had fun the whole night. I really want to learn more about Ivy's character. I feel like she's the yeah. one I don't, I, I kind of don't know anything about yet. I feel like she's maybe purposefully mysterious. <laughs> and so that that intrigues Ten a little bit. Uh, all of the interplay stuff was awesome tonight though. Uh, for me, you can find me at Throck Plays on Twitter and Throck Plays Poorly on Twitch. And I run a D&D game at 8.30 on Fridays. Anybody wants to come say hey? Awesome, hey. awesome. Uh, you guys know me. My name is Askren. Uh, I'm gonna do all my my own personal stuff uh, in a bit. But I thought my favorite part of the session was absolutely how uh, Judo and Throck just kind of hit it off immediately. You guys have like, I, I I it's always interesting when people have like the exact same kind of you know feeling or sense of humor going into a, into a game, and their characters just instantly click. So I love that. And also, um, yeah, just just a lot of fun. Very funny. Um, I'm really like I'm hoping that we're not erring too much on the side of being kind of stupid and ridiculous for you, Daryl. Like I I don't know if you envision something more serious, and we're like nope. But uh, <laughs> we're three I, apples tall. Yeah. Well, no, I think the uh, the humor feels like it's coming from the characters, and it doesn't feel like it's a disregard for the story. And to me, that's great. I mean, that's really great. Not not just saying it. So. Um, it's it's when the humor is taking precedent over the story when it, you know that's when it shouldn't be done like Guardians of the Galaxy 2 you know that's where <laughs> it was good <laughs> but they clearly were aiming for humor not story you know? yeah well guys uh, and I'll talk about myself in a little bit but I want to kick it over to our DM man tell us about yourself tell us what you liked about this session and what, where you uh, if you like where the story's going Great, yeah, thanks. I am Daryl Jones. I'm Splattered Inc. on all the social media and on Twitch. Um, I'm a uh, illustrator, designer, uh, graphic designer, and game designer. And the Daubers are a creation of mine from over 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago, wrong word. Um, and uh, this thing led to that thing, and I talked to Askren about running a D&D campaign based in this world, and he said, let's give it a shot. So. Super excited about the way it went tonight. I love the interaction with the characters. Um, you know, I tried I tried to present a lot of options and um, I realized they weren't all super obvious, um, but there was enough there to get you going somewhere. So um, I appreciate you guys as players and uh, making this thing happen because it's really, it's, it's you guys are the stars and I'm just trying to be a facilitator. So. Thank you. Absolutely, guys. All uh, Every one of our cast here, their links uh, to their Twitch uh, and their social media is in chat. So go ahead, show, give them all a follow, show them some love, and of course, thank them for being here. That is that is the most important part, that you guys had fun. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, my name is Askren. Obviously, I am the host and Dungeon Master here on Exploding Dice. And I want to give a big shout out because I, I, I tend to not do these during the show. Um, but I want to rattle off uh, some names. I'm not going to do so many of them. But thank you to Annihilist and Reparis, Repartist and the Geov and Grenig and uh, the Raven of Death and Shen Elite and the Rat, the Stink Rat Streams and Meeple Feet and Glidolia77 <laughs> and IDK Stray and Thanrand and Geeky Girl Games and Beric CD22, Beric D22 and Gun Brawler CP30. Uh, thank you guys for following, and welcome to the madness. And thank you to Myth for that crazy, crazy host before. Um, I gave him a shout-out. If you guys don't know, Mythomatic is an awesome streamer, uh, roleplay streamer, DM, and a great, great friend of mine, and happy to have the Myth crew here spreading the Myth love. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, 
that is, uh, I, I, I think that's pretty much all I have. Oh, um, announcements. So, uh, last but not least, if you guys enjoyed the show, please consider hitting that follow button. And if you really, really enjoyed the show, please consider hitting that subscribe button so we can keep making awesome content here. Um, enter the giveaway. It, the link is there in chat. You can go get enter to win yourself some awesome Pathfinder hardcover books. Uh, and if you enjoyed the chat, the, the, the content here and you want more role-playing content, well, you have come to the right place because what we do on Exploding Dice is lots and lots of role-playing. Uh, Dobbers, the Dobbers quest is going to be here on Wednesdays for the next couple weeks. Uh, we also have a brand new show that is starting immediately after PAX Unplugged, I should take my hood off, uh, which is called The Razor Coast. It is an all-female pirate game, uh, and it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just finishing up writing for that, and the cast is awesome. Seriously, they're, they're great. Um... Also, what uh, Fridays we're off, but if you want more role-playing content, Saturdays we have Writhing Moon, our open legend horror campaign, which has just played episode 30, and it is only getting better. It is it is probably one of the most fun things I've ever done. Uh, the cast is amazing. They kick it over the field goal every night with their or every week with their role play. Uh, and I sincerely would love to see you guys joining for that. It's it's a great, great show. And then on Sundays, we have, uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern, we have the DM's table, a uh, round table of your favorite Dungeon Master streamers come and hang out and t take you to DM school. So it's a, it's a good time, lots of great role-playing uh education going on there and then at 10 p.m eastern you can come back for mouse guard the dark spring with our good friend on the forefront who is in chat today in the dm seat i am in the player seat along with some other crazy awesome streamers um who make w one of the funniest mouse guard games you'll ever see uh it is it is just amazing amazing fun and then tuesdays is fuzzy dice the talk show where i hang out with nerd celebrities and podcasters and twitch streamers uh, and it's just a, it's just live D and D dungeon master talk show. And it's a lot of fun. And we do your live questions and stuff this week. I am hanging out with, uh, or this coming week, I'm hanging out with Ivan Van Norman again. He's come, he's back on the show talking about some stuff. And then we got some great guests coming after that. That's pretty much it. That's our, our, our week of content. And hopefully we will see all of these new faces back here, uh, in joining the bomb squad. If you have not already keep up with everything via discord. Uh, the Discord link is right there in chat. You can hang out with the Bomb Squad. You can talk about all of our shows there. And and that's pretty much it. I think the last thing we're going to do is we are going to find someone to spread the love onto. We're going to go give someone a, uh, a host. Let's go check out the Dungeons & Dragons directory to see who is online that we can drop the love onto. But while I'm doing this, I want to say, again, a big thank you to everyone because I like saying this. As you guys know, you have lots of options for what you could do with your weekday night. You could... I don't know. What could you do? You could... Um, you could water down your... You could baseball game on tonight. Could yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I I was gonna say you could you could water down your buffalo sauce. You could, um, <laughs> you could you could uh, you could paint your microphone. You could even you could even juggle four cats if you really wanted to. But you chose to hang out with us, and that is uh, that is you know really. Yeah. That's the best thing. I think the best use of your time. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, we are going to pass the love on. I think to um why don't we yeah the the venture maidens are on and they are some great friends of mine so why don't we go say hi to them uh we're gonna drop the love into uh on them and uh, as soon as i get the link here it is exclamation point raid uh they're over on the don't split the podcast channel playing the venture maidens game so what i want you guys to do is i want you to copy that big old message in chat uh swing over to their stream and pass the bombs, the exploding dice, love on to them. That's it for us, guys. We will see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't let Dice Thulu get his tentacles on you because he might. He might. Make, make your janitor stab a snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll see you next time, guys. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks again. Woo. And.